take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Achanda. Now shipping again to you as in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time, I want Craftscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Now we've got Rebecca in the studio. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Alex. How are you this morning? I am good, thank you. Um, now we've got some uh, wonderful new todays, but before we get into the new todays, we just wanted to. Uh, well, I mean, I already asked this morning. I was like, who's Amber? Who's Am So who is Amber? Well, Amber <laughs> makes is yeah. um, a brand new business set up by me and my friend Amy. We used to right. work together. Yeah. And so together our names make Amber. Yeah. That's the that's the clever bit. So the Amy bit and then the Rebecca, Rebecca bit, bit backwards. Exactly. So right. we're Amber mates together. And 
we decided to set up a little business just because I love sewing and Amy is brilliant at drawing. She's a surface pattern designer, she's a graphic designer. Mm. So I design the projects about how they work, but I give her pieces of paper cut out. Yeah. And then she fills them with beautiful patterns that they're all hand illustrated. Mm -hmm. We then send them off to be printed and um, onto a panel. And the reason we do that is because I've been working in the, oh, the craft business for years, mainly for craft magazines, that's how I started. Yeah. So I, my background is writing technical instructions and designing things. Yeah. And I decided that the, the easiest way to make something is rather than having to have patterns and templates, is for everything to be there that you need. Yeah. So on the printed panels, all the shapes are there for you to cut out. So you don't, that takes all see. of that part away from you. I like that idea. And in fact, you can see it. You can see it here. And I was just saying about the quality of the mm. fabric is Well, we spent delightful. a while finding the right place to get them printed to see what they were like. And this is really lovely quality. It's pure cotton, but it's not just the pure cottonness. It's a really lovely quality that's really nice to cut and sew with. Lovely and this is what you can make so basically you've kind of got four projects here so the first one is the actual craft basket itself. Yeah and it's got um, it's got a foaming space so in the kit you'll get all the instructions and mm -hmm. the whole printed panel and you just need to provide your own sort of haberdashery so there's some foam interfacing in there to give it a bit of structure yeah and there's a bit of webbing in the handle Lovely. and you need some thread but cool. that's all um, and we've just popped in some various bits and bobs so they don't come with it obviously you mm -hmm. get in the panel but it's just to show you how handy and how much you can get in there because there's a lot of pockets here yeah there's six pockets all the way around and they're pleated so that it gives it so that it gives it extra space by putting the pleats in the pockets, you've got more space to put things in. Nice. And then you can also make the pin cushion. Yeah. So on the pattern as well is all the pieces to cut out to make the matching pin cushion. Love that. And scissor case. The scissor case. Cute. Look at that. I love the fabric. Well, it's just to just to put a pair, small pair of embroidery scissors in it. So and it's all the prints all coordinate. They've all they've all been hand painted by Amy, Amazing. and then she's turned them into surface pattern. They're so design. cool. And then look at that a tape measure case. That's adorable. I know. I love that. Why why have a plastic tape measure when you can cover it? I know. It's really <laughs> cute. I adore that. So you're going to be able to make the four projects and then you pop in whatever you fancy. So in this one, we've got rotary cutters. We've got threads. We've got all sorts. You could use them for your fat quarters, which I can mm -hmm. see here. So just so you know, this one, because we've got options. This one is the blue rose option that you can see. And then what's the next one? This one. This one. Arts and crafts. Oh, what made you call it that one? <laughs> that well, name. it's inspired by the sort of the nature, the nature and the intricate patterns of the arts and craft movement. And ah. quite typically with those sort of prints, it's the deep purples and the greens. Yeah. And there's lots of, they always put natural designs on arts and crafts. So there's always ah. intertwining leaves and plants. Did not so, know this. You mm. are a, a wealth <laughs> of info. So it's the, it's that traditional. And also what I wanted with these craft baskets is you can put them in your, sewing room to store your stuff but equally if you want if you're working on a project or you want to put them in your lounge and yeah. they don't look like a plastic box or a carrier bag which a lot of my projects live in but if you want something <laughs> lovely yeah then I we came up with three different designs so that you could fit in any room in your home nice you can put what you like in them it doesn't have to be sewing Absolutely. things uh, so the last option then cool oh, that's heavy <laughs> with all this fat quarters mm. in there so notion I like that that one might might be my favorite I'm well that's sure. Amy's designed that sort of a, it's kind of a pretty vintage, so there's, it features lots of notions prints, so there's tape measures, buttons, dress patterns, and all the colours, the colour palette all blends together, Yeah. but all the prints that she's chosen to put on there are sort of that vintage but pretty. Yeah, I like that, because you've got, like you said, you've got tape measures, buttons, scissors on there, how cool are they? Look at that. Let me move those then. Right, so panel-wise, let's show you. Uh, let's let's open this one out then. So as you said, like it literally everything's done for you. They're quite yeah. big panels, aren't they? Yeah, they're they're 150 wide and um, 75 deep. So 150 across the whole width, 75 deep. But it just takes all of the maths and the calculations yes. out for you and the, and the template. So you, all you have to do is cut it out. Mm -hmm. 
and every little piece is labelled. Right, good. So you know which is which, so you don't yeah. get confused. And then the instructions tell you then what to do after you've cut them out. Amazing. So how easy are they to do? Like, you know, for the projects, could a beginner do it? Yeah, no, they are easy. I mean, obviously you've got, there are, sort of, there are some certain techniques which I'm going to show you today, some little things to get you going, you know, how to do the pleats or the best way to do it. Yeah. Working with the foam interfacing. That sort of thing. And the foam interfacing is only there to give it some real structure. If you haven't got that, you could use wadding, maybe a couple of layers of wadding instead. Lovely. So I've tried to keep the haberdashery that you need as well. Like, so there is really only webbing and the interfacing to a minimum. So yeah. you haven't got to go out and buy lots of other things. Very nice. Let's open up the second option then. So this one is your arts and crafts. I didn't do too bad a job there. That's that very back. good. There you go. So you can see there's all the, the circular bases at the top for the craft storage basket. The other circles are for the pin cushions. So I designed it so that everything is circular. Because mm. then I, I always think with circular things, well, it's more attractive, but you can get more in. Yeah, yeah, I, I get you. Yeah. So that's the theory. <laughs> so, and then all the strips are for the binding, and yeah. then the scissor case is already the shape it needs to be, so you haven't got to use templates. Uh, amazing. I'll try my best. Where's this fold? <laughs> and then the last one is the so notion let's say so, so yeah really pretty colors in this one yeah i know it's really hard to say which one you like the most it depends where you're going to put it or you know if you're going to give it to somebody you could either give them the kit or you could make it and give them a fill in with some craft supplies for mm. anyone who is new to crafting what a nice idea i love that um, now they're all going to be dispatched from the 21st of august uh now I each option then is 29.99 you've got a nine pound 50 saving which is very generous yeah well it's like, they're new brand new to her they're today. new there you go so that's the special deal and uh your item number is zero one zero three 5-8. There we go. So you can call us on the usual number 017336020 or have a look on the website at herchanda.com. And while I sort this out, I'm going to hand over to you, Rebecca. Where, where do you fancy start? Okay, well, I wanted to talk you through the panel to start with. So I've got the So Notions one here. Um, just because the first thing you have to do is cut everything out. So if I open it all out so you can see. Yeah. And put it, put it on my desk. So you can see it's quite wide. Um, now, if you look at it really carefully, you can see that everything is labelled from the scissor case to the tape measure, everything. On it as well are some labels like here. So this one says this belongs to Hand Stitch with Love by. We've put those on so that, um, you know, if you're giving this as a gift to somebody and you want to write on who did it, or if you just want to remember that you did it, you yeah. can use these to sew onto your item or you could use them for something else. There's also lots of other little bits and pieces, like there's some buttons and reels, and you can use those for appliqueing onto things. But they're just, we didn't want to waste any space, so everything is filled in, even there's tiny labels here. So the first thing you need to do, and on the instructions it explains this, is cut everything out. Right. If you look, you can see there are labels for everything. So it's really important, because there's so much on here. When you cut them out, I'll show you one that I've just done here. Um, just cut the label out and pin it on like I've done here. Nice. Because um, you might think when you're doing this you'll remember, but by the time you get to the end you, you won't remember. No, that's good advice. So Jack. I just pin them on and then you know where it is and then as you're making it and you've, con you've made each little part, you can unpin them and then you don't need them anymore. But yeah. um, the labels are above each piece, but otherwise because things like the pockets, the outside of the pocket and the lining of the pocket are exactly the same size, you could swap them over. That's the other thing. Anything that's the same size. So the outside of the basket for this one is got this print, yeah. this um, dressmaking and sort of notions print, whereas the inside has got buttons. But you could swap them over because they're the same oh, size. Okay, so if you preferred, a if you preferred one, preferred one to the other. So as long as they're the outers and the same size, and the same goes with the bases. So the, the base of the basket, the lining is this button print and then the outer is this notions print, but you could swap them over. So yeah. just remember to cut the, in, cut the labels out. Otherwise, you, when you get to the end, you will forget. And just right. cut really carefully. I, I just use scissors. I found that easier than cutting with the rotary cutter just to get it right. Okay. So that's where you start. Got you. <laughs> but I just wanted to explain. No, that's all cool. That it, but it is, them. you know, it's nice, though, because it is all done for you, as you said. Well, it is. You know, it's horrible when you have to cut out the templates and pin them on. And yeah. also, you tend to waste fabric. That was another reason for doing this, is that we've used every small piece of fabric on mm. here. And by... Um, printing you, 
everything close together, you actually get a lot more on. Whereas yeah. if you'd have to cut this out of fabric, you would waste some. And also it means that we can put the print on here exactly where we want it to be. So sometimes when you cut something out and you have to fussy cut it, you mm. think, oh, well, I want that part of the pattern there. Well, we've done that already. Yeah. So you do, you do save a lot of fabric. So the, the remit behind Amy and I getting together was to make lovely things. We like doing it, but also make it easy for you. And because we've both spent years creating designs and mm. patterns, we've worked out how to do it. <laughs> So the first thing you need to do is, we go, I'm going to start with the craft basket, and you have to put foam interfacing on. This is the outside of the craft basket, like that, and this is the base. Again, you see, and I've got the lining on this, you could swap them around. Um, this is the foam interfacing, but, you know, I, don't, I thought, rather than put it in the key, Quite a lot of people have this stuff in it already and they want to use stuff in their stash. But you could use a couple of layers of ordinary wadding instead. It's just that this foam interfacing gives you a nice structure. Yeah. So you start off by sewing that to the outer base and you do the outer body. And you do the same with the base. But then you sew the lining on as well. So now we've got... So this is what I mean by you could swap those over because they're the same size. So you could choose which one was which. So just sew those on. You could tack them on or sew them by machine, which I've done. It's up to you. So I'm now I'm going to show you how to make the pockets because that's, it, that's the next section. Mm -hmm. Also, there is there are various different ways of making pockets. I've gone for a, a lined pleated pocket. It's lined because it looks nice. And it's pleated because you can then get more in. So if your pockets are, let me just take this one and show you here. Because the pockets have got these pleats in, you can actually get a lot more in. If they were flush, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to get so much. And because, you know, this is craft storage, I wanted you to be able to get as much as you could, can in them. They're not massively gaping, because if they were too big, everything would fall out. Mm -hmm. But that was the point. So what you do is you take the pocket outer, and as you can see on the craft basket outer pocket, and you place this right sides together with the lining pocket. So now I know which are which. I mean, you can move the label if, if you want to remember exactly. You can move that into the middle. Pin them together across the top edge, and we're going to sew them together. I think this purple one's in the lead, actually, the arts and crafts. Oh, is it? I think so. Yeah, well, I think this, I really like this one. I was really pleased because I said to Amy, well, look, you know, here they are. Here's all the rectangles. But I really like this sort of arts and crafts thing, particularly yeah. purple. And, and, and that was it. And then this is what I got. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Because he's um, a very talented artist. Oh, how did you meet? How did you meet oh, Amy? We used to work together. Right. So, and we, I could sew and she could draw. So it just sort of worked. Mm, good combination. A good combination. And also she's really good at social media and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need her in my life oh, then as well. Oh dear. I know. I go, oh, how do you do that? I don't know. She goes, it's fine. I'll do that. She's really good at that. <laughs> but... I love it. I'm not very good at it. So um, it says it in the instructions. There's a one centimetre seam allowance. So okay. all you have to do is um, sew them together across the top edge using that one centimetre seam allowance. Mm -hmm. Make sure you keep that right because it will be neater to get a nice straight edge. Um, now I could have just hemmed the top edge of the pocket. But, well, it looks prettier to have the lining in it, but also it just gives it a little bit of extra strength. So if you're going to store, you might start off by just putting some scissors and some thread in it. But mm. You know what it's like with any storage, you end up stuffing <laughs> yeah. more and more and more in it, don't you? So this just um, gives it a bit of strength, but makes it pretty as well. So you look at this, this is quite a long pocket, mm -hmm. but, you'll see, but that's because we've got to include all the pleats. So it took me a while to think about it because I wanted, to, I wanted to try, I made it so I know how to do it, but I was trying to work out the best way to, for everyone else to make it. So now we've sewn it together across the top. Yep. That's now a lined pocket. Um, the best thing to do now is to press this seam open. Oh, open, okay, not to one side. Well, you can, you, you know, I, it will end up being to one side because this seam's going to go across the top. Okay. But I find you get a better finish if you press it open from one side, and I am going to just do that. Okie dokie. Over here, you don't need to... I won't do that on the surface because the ironing board just gets in the way. 
then you can see what it looks like. Okay. Um, press it open and then press it from the right side. That's just because sometimes when you press a seam open, it makes a few little creases on right. the other side. And then fold it together so that this seam runs exactly along the edge. That makes sense? Yeah. So this is the point which you can choose now which side you want your pockets on here. I've got this lovely green on the outside, but I could do it with the purple on the outside because they're exactly the same. Mm. So that's up to you. Nice. Um, so just while you're going to, are you going to top stitch that, are yes, you? Yes, I'm going to sew it down the sides. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, so then just a quick recap of our lovely brand new today. So you can make lots of different projects. Uh, so your first option is the blue rose and you can see it's got all the instructions on it you can see here uh, and then let's move this in just so you can see the finished um, examples so you can make your craft basket you can make your pin cushion your scissor holders there you go and then I, this is my favorite I don't know why it's just too cute your uh, little tape measure case which is marvelous then the second option this one is your arts and crafts, like so. Again, you can make your basket, your little tape holder. Then we've got the pin cushion, uh, and then you've got your scissors, so you can see those beautiful fabrics. I'll just swizzle this around again. And then the next one, So Notion, really like this. Oh, this one's in the lead now, righty-ho. And again, let's just get those extra bits, like so. There you go. Really pretty fabrics, these. Uh, so each option is £29.99. Item number then for each option is 010358. Now, uh, remember, they're all dispatched from the 21st of August. Now, we've got some back by popular demands. These, I never knew this until Rebecca told me this morning that the collective noun for cats is a clouder. Never knew this at all. Now you've got loads of projects in here. So again, you're going to get your panel, but you've got six projects. So you can make the cushion. Uh, it's all listed on the instructions for you. So you can make your cushion. There's your little, what would we call him? Little toy, 3D character. Cute. Um, and then you can make a bag, you could m make a picture, canvas if you wanted to. And then we've got a couple of like pouches. Isn't that adorable? How nice are these? The fabrics are gorgeous. I mean, they're little faces and you know I love my cat. Whoa, look at that. Um, so you've got another £9.50 saving on this. A really, really, really pretty. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to wreck the pack shot to get to the panel. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Cool, all right. Let's show you the panel then. Let's move this, let's move this. Hang on a second. La la la. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. <laughs> right, here we go. Here's the panel. This is adorable. Do you like cats then, Rebecca? Yeah, no, I do. I do like cats. Let's hold it this way. There you but go. But on here, the, the way it works, there are four different cats, and you can choose which ones you put on the bag, which ones you put on the cushion. So it says in the instructions, choose your favourite cat. Mm. And then you decide which one you'll put on the cushion and which one you'll use for the other pieces. It's gorgeous. Look at that. I love it. This lovely panel. Uh, right, so if you want to make that, so six projects, that'll keep you going for a bit. That's <laughs> nice, yeah. isn't it? Six projects that you can make. Uh, it's £29.99, a £9.50 saving, and your item number is 643090. Try and put this back. La, la, la. Um, and then the next one we've got is your thatched cottage, which is another really pretty one. So what can we make with this then, Rebecca? Well, you can make the doorstop, which is the big co cottage, ah, and then nice. you can make the baby one, which I've used as a pincushion, but you could just use that as an ornament. So on the panel, you've got all the pieces, again, all pre-drawn onto there, all the pieces, so there are no templates that you need, you just cut them out. And Amy's created prints for the thatch, there's mm -hmm. the whitewash walls. But you can also embroider it as well if you want. So if you look round the door, the roses and all the um, mm -hmm. plots of geraniums are all printed on there, but I've embroidered on top of them, so to just give it a bit of texture. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, you can see, actually. Look at that. French knots. You know, I'm obsessed Loads with those. Loads of French knots <laughs> there. 
and also there's pieces that you can applique on as well so you can applique the windows on top to give it a bit of 3d and some flower pots what did you pop in here to make it weighty? well i actually use gravel off my front path <laughs> but because <laughs> i wanted it really weighty <laughs> it but, is weighty um, let me tell normally you normally i would use like dried peas or yeah. rice that's what i tend to uh -huh. use but that's actually got gravel it's beautiful so it's very heavy i suppose you could scent it maybe yes you could yeah. do yeah so you fill it with you make um I usually make a little fabric bag to put the filling in. Mm. It just keeps it safe. Yeah. And then you put wadi, um, soft toy stuffing in to fill up the roof. Yeah. Oh, see, good, good idea, good idea. So the details then, £29.99, £9.50 saving, 372679 And then we've got quilt kits for you. So we've got three options. Oh yes, the oh look, okay, that is gorgeous. There's another cat in there. <laughs> yeah, well, there's the, an optional cat on the panel, so if you want to have a cat looking through the window, you can add that on. But that's up to you. So the um, the panel has got the printed photograph on it. Yeah. And then an extra piece of fabric to make the flying geese patchwork border, ah. which you is optional. You don't have to put that on if you want to keep it simple. So all you have to do is provide. The plain fabric, so the white in the shades of grey. Right. Um, because some people might want to do their window frame a different colour. So I've said you need three different shades, but you might want a blue window frame or yeah. a brown window frame or wooden ones. So gorgeous. So that one was the blossom view. This next one that we're having a look at is Venice view. Have you been there? I have, yes. Ah. Yeah, a few years ago. But that's the beautiful Rialto Bridge. It's lovely, isn't it? It's stunning. So if you I can't go to these. Venice, at least you can have your own view of, of it. Well, it's beautiful. And then the last one that we've got is the Lupin view. And here it is. So all of the... Oh, we've got another cat on there. I love it. Yeah, all the panels have a cat, slightly different cat. So yeah. when you've made the whole thing, you applique the cat on to look through. So that's up to you whether you put it on or not. But it just seemed oh. a nice little touch to add to the panel. So do we have Venice cat? Yes, that has a cat. But I decided to make one without the cat so you could see what it looked like. But ah, it does yeah. have a cat on its panel, yes. Fair enough. Lovely. So then each option, again, $29.99, 914 4 is your item number. Just add your own backing and wadding and whatnot. Um, you can call us on 01733 or have a look on hachanda.com. Right, back to you, Rebecca. Where have we got to? Okay, so I've now lined the pocket. Um, and then while you were going through the other things, I just sewed it together down the sides, across the bottom, and then I top stitched the top. That just holds it all together while you're assembling the pockets. It just makes it easy. You don't need to have stitched it because you will stitch it in the final stage. So make sure you stitch within the seam allowance. And you, or you could just tack it by hand. By doing a top stitch across the top, that just holds the lining and the outer together. Now what you have to do is you have to draw lines onto your fabric. This is so... Make, this was what I was saying earlier. What's yeah. the easiest way to do pockets? And I had a really big think about this. And I've given you, in the instructions, there's a little table that gives the, well, two diagrams, the pocket diagram and the outer body diagram. And all these measurements, they include the seam allowances and everything else, so you don't have to work all the calculations out. So you take the outer body, which we've got here, and I've drawn these lines on in advance for you. And it says here, draw lines from working from the left. So that's 12 centimetres. So you just measure 12 centimetres and you draw a line. I just used a um, erasable pen, you could use a pencil. So just measure here 12 centimetres and draw the line. And then 11 centimetres, 10, 10. And so the reason for this is the outer ones include the seam allowance and then you've got a couple of bigger and a couple of smaller pockets. Then when you get to the pocket, because obviously the pocket is somewhat bigger than the, di than the um, outer body because mm -hmm. we're going to pleat it. So the pocket diagram, exactly the same. It's got all the measurements, 15, 14, 12, 12. So you just measure them along here. And I decided this was the easiest way of doing it. First of all, I did it where I had marked all the pleat lines, but, oh, that's so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it is, and, you, and also, because of, even if you measure really carefully, you then get to the end and it doesn't quite add up. So mm. I think this is the easiest way. So first of all, pin the edges of the pockets into place because that's where they've definitely got to go that's something that's not movable right um just pin through there and also pin the other end and now you know your pocket will fit whatever happens it will fit because if you've ever done much pleating that you 
do end up to make it fit exactly you do end up repinning and remeasuring it is it's quite hard so I think I think this is the easiest way so what you do now is you match up these lines so you've got the first pocket line and the first outer body line and you match the top of it and the bottom of it and pin it together now I pin this oh sorry I've got through the wadding um, you could use pins or clips, fabric clips, I'm using pins. Um, I've pinned them horizontally, that's the mm -hmm. word I'm looking for, horizontally okay. <laughs> across rather than down. Mm -hmm. It's just easier, then put one in the middle. Mm -hmm. And do the same all the way along. So now you can see that line. I don't know, you probably can't see the lines very well because I've only done them lightly. But I am matching up. There's a line here and there's a line here. And oh, okay. We're on a nice close-up here. Oh, you can see the lines there. Oh, good. So you've got this line that I've drawn on there, and then you've got this line that I've drawn on there. Okay. So you can see them. So when, when you're doing it yourself, you will find it quite easy. Um, no measuring. Nearly. No measuring need, except for the drawing of the lines. Yeah. But I've used a heat-erasable pen for these, but you know just you or you could use a pencil just use something that's not going to show up too much mm -hmm. and with a heat erasable pen obviously it won't show up at all because it'll you'll press away the marks yeah but if you haven't got one of those then you know you will be sewing over it um, and we can see on the finished sample here sort of where where it's going where we're going to go where it's nice. going with that so you do get a good you know amount of room in each pleat in each pocket which is great so you can see here, look, there's, um, what do you call them, crochet hooks in this one. Well, I've kept sort of knitting. I've gone for knitting with knitting that Knitting in this one. <laughs> uh, we've got spools and things. Cool, this one's really heavy. It's because it's stuffed with fat quarters, <laughs> this one. Uh, scissors you can pop in. Lots of threads, rotary cutters. So they're a really nice, decent size of pocket. So now I've pinned them all across. Now... You just need to pleat it. You can be really accurate. You can measure the cent central point. I'll just st start with the second one. You can measure the centre of that and then pleat it so it's sitting exactly in the centre. It depends how accurate you want to be. So that's the centre. And then when you pleat it, just pull the fabric together till it fits at the centre or wherever. Do you know, it doesn't matter. It could be just roughly at the centre. And then just fold it over. And then that pleat now fits exactly. You could make two pleats if you prefer. You could make two smaller ones, that's up to you. But do you see, you just, you know, I'm not even going to measure with this one because you mm -hmm. can sort of see roughly. It doesn't really matter too much. Yeah. So then you haven't got all of that, is this going to fit and all this measuring? Because, you know, I wanted to give pleated pockets, but I didn't want to make it too complicated because I know sometimes people are put off making things and think, oh, I couldn't do that, it's too hard. But... You see this pocket here, the pleat is smaller because these, the ones in the centre are slight, uh, just a little bit smaller than the ones on the outside. And when I did mine, I didn't measure the centre. Okay. I just guess because it doesn't really matter, no. does it? As long as it I means as long as it's not right on the edge. But um, and then the final one, mm -hmm. and then just make sure that the when you pin it on that the bottom is level with the bottom edge. Oh, hard to pin through. Oh. <laughs> and I missed the one is at the beginning. Right? I missed the one at the beginning. <clears throat> so now you can see we've got pleated pockets all the way So all you have to do is sew it together, which I'm going to do now, down the side across the bottom and up the other side. Um, and with this foam interface, when you sew these on, do it within the seam allowance, which is one centimetre. So do about a five mil seam. And the reason for that is because we're going to sew this seam again when we do the, um, when we sew this body together. So it's better if this stitching is within the seam. Yeah. Because otherwise it, you, it might show up outside the seam when you do it later, which isn't the end of the world. You just have to unpick it a bit. So okay. just... Because in, in, you know, this is a tacking stitch, it's mm -hmm. a, not a permanent one, but, oh, I hate hand tacking. I usually do my tacking by machine because um, I can't be bothered to tack. So as long as you 
attack yeah. within the seam allowance, it's the same thing, if that makes sense. Nice. So you're just going to whiz all the way around. Yes. I yeah. will do my numbers then, okay. just while you're doing yeah. that. <laughs> uh, if you are just joining us then, we've got three brand new options for you to make these lovely, you've got four projects basically. So this is your blue rose option, where you can make the lovely sort of craft caddy, craft holder, storage holder. You'll also be able to make your pink cushion. You will be able to make your uh, scissor holder, which I really like, love that, and really cute little tape measure case covering. No, it looks really professional, really pretty. You're going to want to start measuring everything once you've got them <laughs> pop that on. So that is your blue rose option, which is marvellous. Then we've got the arts and crafts option. So obviously contents, you're not going to get those, but it's just to show you what you can store in. So you can see those beautiful fabrics, aren't they nice? And it's all explained for you on the, uh, the panel, it's all very self-explanatory, there you go. There are all those items. And then we've also got our So Notion. Ooh. Uh, so Notion is in the lead, we're liking this. Uh, and let me pop out all those bits and bobs, so you've got like your scissor holder, your um, pin cushion and your tape measure. There you go. Look at that. It's really pretty. But that, yeah, that one is in the lead. Lovely. Oh, is that what fell out with scissors? Uh, so you can see the panels. They're really fabulous. Each one is £29.99. £9.50 saving. Item number is 010358. Something else that's been busy is the cottage. So if you haven't seen the cottage, here it is. You can make the door stop and the pin cushion, and it is really adorable, really lovely. 29.99, is your item number. Um, now, we have got some seven day savers for you available. Now, this is a quilting bundle, and you do get a lot in here. You've got like your self healing mat, you've got a ruler. Do we get a fat quarter with it as well? Amazing, fat quarter with it. We've got safety pins, we've got normal pins, we've got universal uh, machine needles, a rotary cutter. This is a great bundle. And some scissors. So this is really nice for anybody who's getting started because they're all your essentials. And you have a £12 saving. It's very, very good indeed. £34 and... That's random, isn't it? £34 and 14 pence. Uh, 202019. And have a look at these fat quarters. Have a look at the beautiful, um, what do you, what do you call it? The colours and the pattern. So I don't want to open it totally because it's a shame. But look, you've got, so you've got some flowers on there. You've got some little ditzy dots. You have got some really nice, that one's like a duck egg colour, don't you think? Very, very cute. But they all tone really well all of them. I like the grey, it's like a warm grey and the orange, they're really pretty aren't they? Uh, gorgeous. I was just having a look here. Does it say... Mm, system 130705H. Now I don't sew so I don't know what that means but you will. <laughs> there you go, it's on there, it's on your machine needles. Our oh, universal machine needles anyway. And then again, we've got a really big pack of needles and a really big pack of um, your safety pins there. Self-healing mat, all of that, really good for £34.14. 202019. Uh, next, we have some threads. Oh, some of them are variegated, which I really like. This one is gorgeous. Um, now, colours may vary, but this is just to show you the type of thing that you'll get. But this is my favourite favourite. I really like that one. How glorious is that? And then you've got the blues. And then down there, you might get some of the greens. That's lovely. That's like a jade green. Then uh, you've got your golds and your browns. So you'll get a, a nice bundle, basically. Ten reels on there. And you've got an £11 saving. So it's pretty much half price. It's 10 16747 Then, I really like these. Do you know why? Because of the colour. Uh, look at the colour of the handles. <clears throat> rainbow they're nice aren't they in, in when you get them home they're even more rainbow like that to me they're not looking um they're not looking as rainbowy <laughs> on screen if you will so i've been given some fabric oh can you hear that oh sorry sorry molly 
can hear it. They're good. There you are. So really fab, uh, fabulous scissors, great essentials, and they look pretty. Uh, 14 pounds and 69 pence, five pound 30 saving. 982585 is your item number. There's more seven day savers on the website. Um, <clears throat> what day is it today? Thursday. Thursday, thank you. I just, I don't know if you, uh, I've just lost total track, you know, of uh, what day it's on. So Thursday, so you've got a couple more days to get your seven day savers. You have got uh, the MDF. There's some MDF shapes. Now you're actually getting nine, so three of each of those sizes, just so you know. Uh, again, you can see the scissors that we've got in there and the threads. Oh, there's some nice papers. There's assorted cardstock, lovely uh, handmade paper collection. Right, I'm going to hand back to you, Rebecca. Where are we at? Right, so I've um, sewn the pockets down the side and across the bottom. And what you now need to do is the reason you've got these drawn lines is not just to match the outer to the pockets, but also to sew along them. So to divide the pockets, you need to sew down the line. When you sew them, start from this side and sew downwards. And the reason for that is um, be, it will just make it a bit stronger. If you're sewing from here, then you might catch it and turn it. It's just a simpler way to do it. You can start from either end, but I would recommend starting from here. So you, all you're going to do is sew on top of the drawn line on the pocket. Now with this foam interfacing, although it's very thick and very sturdy, it's ever so easy to sew through. I've no idea why, but it must be just the way that it's created, but the needle goes through it really easily. So you don't actually need to use anything like a jeans needle or anything stronger. It, it's fine like it is. So sew along, carefully along the line until you reach the top of the pocket. You don't sew up into the outer body. You just reach the top of the pocket. Just sew slightly over the edge and then reverse stitch. And I would do that a couple of times because it's important that the top is strong because that's where all the um, strain will be when you overfill your pockets like I have done and then you can just snip off the thread um, and then you do that for each of them so again start at the bottom mm -hmm. this I mean yeah, I, I have reverse stitched the bottom of the seam but that will be sewn into another seam when you attach the circular base so that's not as important it's this top of the pocket bit just go slowly so you only just go into the outer body you don't want to be sewing up it mm. and then just reverse a few times and it stops it coming undone because particularly if you're putting something like um, scissors in it something that's hard you know it will put extra strain yeah. if you're carrying it around so it's just worth doing that because when you know if, it, if the stitching comes undone you I mean you can restitch it on by hand but you won't be able to get it under the machine once the t by the time it's all constructed because you've got the lining on got you. so it's just worth spending couple of extra seconds making sure that that's string. I've done those while you were talking so that's fine so um, now we've got one two Yay. three four five six pockets so although they're pleated that's not too difficult no is not it? at all no <laughs> so, that's you know it's always when you're making some lines you think oh is this going to be really difficult or not I don't know um, now you just have to create it, a circle now and that's really easy because you place the two short ends together mm -hmm. I'm not going to pin them because I don't need to for now. And then pin, pin or clip, I'm just going to hold mine for now. And again, sew them together. And this foam, there's lots of different brands of this, but if you just ask for, look for foam interfacing, that's the right thing. But as I said, you could use a couple of layers of wadding instead, just something to give it some structure. So I'm going to press that seam open. Okay. Just to give it a, it'll make it a lot neater. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I always recommend press everything as you go. I probably don't do it as much when I'm here because for speed, but just press it open slightly. And now then, if we turn that right sides out, <laughs> be mean with it. Be mean and get it right <laughs> sides out. So now you've got all the pockets, and because this is the the one with the seam. But because all the others have got seams, once you've made the whole thing, you don't really notice so much where the join is, yeah, which is the point of all the measurements, yeah. so that it all fits exactly. So because the um, when I did the measurements for this outside pocket, I added the extra centimetre in for the seam allowance so that they would be the same, similar sizes all the way around. Mm -hmm. 
Go, yeah. That's yeah. that. So now you take the lining of your... Oh, look at that lining. Your lining. But this is where you could have swapped them round. Yeah. I mean, I've gone for the purple, but because they're the same size, you, yeah. you could have swapped them round. And you do exactly the same thing. We're going to, obviously, we haven't got pockets on this one. I mean, you could, I could have. I could have got some extra fabric and put pockets on the inside as well in the same way, but I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> but you could, you know, you know. Now, I, what, the, the whole point with this is that is, this is, the instructions of buying the kit isn't just about making this. It's about learning some new techniques. Yeah. Things you might not have done before. So now you know how to add pockets and pleated ones to something. If you wanted to add pockets to the inside mm -hmm. as well, just use some of your own fabric, cut it to the same sizes. Yeah. You know, and if you want to use the pattern again, obviously there aren't templates, but if you trace round everything and all the pieces, you've got the pattern. Or yeah. you measure it and write it down. I mean I haven't done that because then I'd be giving you templates and that and that's too confusing. But you know, if you wanted to add a whole set of pockets on the inside, then do exactly the same process on the lining piece, mm. and then you'll you'll be you'd have twelve pockets then. Do you mind moving your the basket just to the side, oh, just so there? Yeah, no, yeah, that's fine. That just so we can see. Was yeah. I in the way? Right, and then I'm just sewing this one. There we go. And then if you look, now we've got, because all the measurements are already done, yeah. you know that that's going to fit inside, so that goes inside Perfect. there. Lovely. So what we do is, we're going to place these, I'm going to, you should remember, try and remember to press all your seams open as you go. Yep. Just so you get a neat finish. Well, I am going to do that because it won't be as neat otherwise. <laughs> It'll bug you otherwise. And if you it don't. I know, and it yeah. doesn't really need to be because I'm just showing you, but it won't lie as flat. Yeah. So now you put this inside, make sure that they're wrong sides together, which is a little bit obvious, really, isn't it? Otherwise, you'd have your lining looking funny. So make sure they're <laughs> wrong sides together. Yeah. Um, match the seams. You don't need to match the seams, really, because it doesn't matter where it goes, but I just always think for neatness it's quite nice if the seam runs. Because this is quite an intricate, heavy print, mm -hmm. the beauty of those sort of prints is you don't really see the seams. Right. When you're using a plain fabric, seams show up more, uh -huh. or bold prints, but when it's quite a, a small print, it doesn't. So place the seams together, and then pin it together mm -hmm. all the way around. It sometimes looks like it's not going to fit and that's because you've got the foam. So what you can do, I'm going to undo that one to just show you this, it, it will fit because they're exactly the same size, yep. is mark the halfway mark with a pin. We're going to use this same technique when we do the base as well so it's good practice. This is a good thing if you ever want anything to fit. Mm -hmm. If it's little, just mark the big point the halfway point, but if it's something much bigger that you're trying to match, match the quarter points, and if it's even bigger than that, mm -hmm. so, to, so to do this, let me, I've, I've rushed through that, haven't I? Fold it in half and mark the half, okay. the pin there. Then put those, so the, where the seam is and that halfway point, put them together, and yep. then if you pin either side, that's quarter points. If you wanted to match eight points, you'd put those two pins together and mark. Got you. Does yeah. that make sense? So for something this sort of size, quarter points is fine. Then do exactly the same on whatever it is you're trying to fit. Mm -hmm. And that's something you can use for loads of things. Again, put the, the two halfway points together and then you can mark... The that's a really good tip, that. The yeah. quarter points. But it's for anything. And you know, what, although you think, oh, I can't bother to do that. I can't bother. Um, the fiddle of trying to get something to fit and mm. unpinning it yeah. and starting all over again is actually worth doing that. Yeah. So, um, I know this will fit because the, they were exactly the same size, but when you've, because I've put a layer of foam in here, it sort of, <coughs> it pulls it in slightly like it's not going to fit, so you will get a better finish if you do this. So, the next step is to take all the, take the same points. Yep matching all the pins like this this is um 
if you know if you're dressmaking something like that you know and you're matching um, the top of a sleeve. If you're putting the top of the sleeve into oh, a, bonnet, right, yeah. a bodice, this is a really good way of doing that. Particularly if you're pleating or so gathering. So same technique. Yeah, it's just okay. by matching the sort of a few anchor points. Mm -hmm. Particularly if you've got to ease something round. So if you're putting a piece of fabric, you're sewing one piece of fabric to another, and one is bigger than the other, so you've got to ease it slightly or put some gathers in. I mean, I haven't with this because it fits. This is the best way of doing it, and I've done it before where I've divided it into lots and lots of points. Yeah. But um, four is enough for this. But it's just something that's worth if you are trying to fit one piece of fabric to another. Because then you can pull it. Because the, the foam does pull the fabric in. Got you. If I give that a good pull, look, you can see it. I mean, it does fit. But if I didn't do the quarter points, I would end up with some gathers somewhere. Right. No, we want it nice and neat. So to keep it nice and neat. So you're giving it a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, only only because the foam sort of pulls it in slightly. But it's not much really, and then mm. it will fit. So it's worth taking a little bit of time. Now you're probably thinking, oh, this is going to look a bit messy because this has got a, a raw edge. But what we'll do on the um, panel mm -hmm. are two strips of fabric for binding it. Ah, oh, nice. Which coordinate with it. We, You know, Amy's chosen the print specially so they coordinate with the edges. So don't worry about that. But I am going to sew it together because it's easier. Mm -hmm. So now you, now you see that fits lovely. It does, doesn't it? It's lovely. Um, I am going to sew it together, uh -huh. even though we're going to bind it because it's easier. Otherwise, when you're trying to sew and bind several layers, including foam together, it's too hard. Right. So I'm going to sew it together. And remember, because this is temporary sewing, well, it's not temporary, I'm not going to take it out, but it's not sewing that you need to keep. Mm -hmm. um, sew within the seam allowance. What's you, the seam allowance again? The seam allowance is one centimetre, so you could right. tack this by hand. And when I do temporary sewing like this, that's you know not a proper seam, I usually lengthen my stinch, stitch length a bit, just because um, it, you, all, you, all you're needing to do is hold it together and I just find, particularly when you're sewing through these layers, it's easier if the stitch length is a bit longer. And then if you do anything wrong, it's easier to undo. So I'm just doing a five millimeter seam allowance mm -hmm. with a slightly longer stitch. But you know, if you prefer, some people prefer to do all their tacking by hand, you could do that as well. Just I hate tacking. Yeah, do you? Really, oh, it just takes ages. <laughs> I know that you have to do it, but if I can do it by machine instead, then I always do. Yeah. Okay, so just while you're going around that bit, okay, I'll do another little recap. These are brand new today. If you're just joining us, you're getting the panels. Shall I open a panel up again? I'll just open the one up, but you, you get the idea of um, where we're going because this is this this particular one is so notion. Uh, by the way, we're nearly 40% of the stock gone. So it's all labelled for you because this says craft basket handle. This says just scissor case outer cover. And as Rebecca, uh, Rebecca suggested, um, maybe just pin that back on once you've cut everything out, like pin the, what yeah, everything pin is. Yeah, name back on so you yeah. know which is which. Or take a picture on your phone. Oh, that's a good idea. That. Very nice. Um, so that is one of your options. So Notion, 40% gone, and I'll just get the actual projects for you. Have I done this right? I think like this, and like this. Mm, maybe. Uh, uh, so that's the one option. And here you go. This is what you can make. So it's four projects in one, really. You, the actual basket itself. Look at all those with the lovely pockets. And obviously, contents don't come with it. We're just showing you what sort of things you can pop in. And you'll be able to make your lovely little pin cushion. Where have all the bits gone? There's the scissor holder. And that's fallen down here. You'll be able to make your lovely little tape measure cover. It's cute, isn't it? I'll just pop those back on. Uh, the next option, arts and crafts. We're going this way. There you go. So you can see those lovely projects, that lovely bag. There's your scissor holder case. There's your pin cushion. And there's your tape measure. Lovely. And then the final option is the blue rose. Let's pop that there. And here are, here are the little projects again. Really pretty, aren't they? Lovely. Where's the... There it is. There we go. Oh, our Meg's just said it'd be nice in denim. Oh, I like that. Uh, £29.99 for each of those options. Item number is 01035.
8, lovely. Oh yes, uh, just a reminder that they're all being dispatched from the 23rd of August. What did I say? 23rd, sorry, 21st of August. Uh, now, you're liking this cottage, very busy for this, uh, so you can make your doorstop and your pin cushion. <laughs> no wonder it's heavy with gravel in it. <laughs> <laughs> but it really does weigh it down though, doesn't it? You get a better yes. look. The heavier it is, the better it looks. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? And look, you can see, you can, you can, you know, um, cover it with French knots and all sorts of things. That's ever so pretty. So again, you'll get the panel and full instructions to make these two lovely items. 29.99, 372.679. So Rebecca, where have you got up to? Right, so I've now sewn the, um, the top of the lining into place and remember at the beginning we did the base so yeah I put the, the two edges you can see when you know on the base how it does the foam does pull it in slightly but it's fine because it comes back on so now I don't I don't need my labels anymore okay. I know which way round this is but I've, I've done it so that the outer is the same as the outer but you could swap them over if you wanted mm -hmm. you could have that one on the base yeah they're exactly the same so it's up to you so we're going to do exactly the same thing with the bottom. We're going to pin the lining round the bottom, all the way round. Now we should do our halves and quarters again so that it fits. I'm not going to do that, which is sort of cheating. <laughs> but I told you how to do it. Now, yeah, so yeah, it's fine, fine, isn't it? We all yeah. know how to do that. We now. do. And it probably won't fit now. I'll do this because there were various ways of creating this basket so normally if I would if I'm going to sew a base onto something I'd put it right sides together mm. with the outer and then turn it out and then you would get your base but I discovered that the it's not it's more of a bucket than a basket isn't it mm. because it's got a round bottom and yeah and I was thinking and it didn't really stand when I did it it didn't stand up very well because it's fabric and foam obviously it's not a really hard plastic bottom mm. or something it just didn't stand up very well so I had to look at a bucket and I realized that buckets all have a rim around the bottom right okay they're never just flat they have a no. slight rim that makes them sit up so I decided oh well I need a bucket rim around mine and therefore that's why you have a bind you have a binding piece of fabric that sews around the rim and that when that sews them together so you take your base either way round, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the outer that way, and you're going to pin that on to there. Or clip. You can use fabric clips or you can use pins. I'm going to use pins. Okay. But fabric clips work as well. Now this is really important. I think this if you want to get a round to fit a straight, you do need to do the dividing then. If you're doing a circle, just fold it in half and place a pin. Make sure you've got it exactly in half. Uh, just so you know, you've got two minutes. Okay, <laughs> right. At the halfway mark. And then do the quarters in exactly the same way. Yeah. And then measure the mark, the quarter marks on here. And then when you come to do that, you can pin it on. But when I come back at 10, yeah. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. So if, we, you know, if you're watching up to this point and you want to see the next bit, I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to show you how to add the base on properly when I come back at 10 o'clock. That's a good, that's a good um, <laughs> point there, we are, isn't it? We're, yeah. we're there ready to yeah. put the base on. That's really, really nice. Um, so do check out your baskets for those three brand new options. Don't forget, of course, we've also got the, um, the lovely uh, cat set of projects. Um, but let's show you one more time what you can achieve very easily. You're so good, Rebecca, though, at explaining things mm -hmm. and demonstrating Thank things. You. <laughs> you know, you really, really are. Like, I feel I could do this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right, so we've got um, our blue rose option. And again, just to show you the lovely little project, like so. And then you can do the arts and crafts. I love that name. Which one's in the lead, our Meg? Do we know? So Notion's in the lead, okay. I, I'm just always interested what, what everybody goes for. There you go. So those are your nice projects. And then th this one then, here it is. This one's in the lead. Your Sew Notion with all of your lovely bits in there. Where have the scissor holders gone? Anyway, you'll be able to make those. Uh, so each option then is $29.99. Item number is 010358. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you. I'll see you again at 10. Indeed you will. Yes, 10 o'clock.
Bucket uh, bottoms. Bucket bottoms at 10 o'clock. <laughs> there you go. You don't often say that, do we? Uh, you can call us, of course, 01733 60 to place your order or do have a look at the website at hachanda.com. Right, I'm going to leg it next door now because we've got our Leone coming up with the one day special. Yes, it's all in Create. We've got some fabulous stamps for you. Uh, after that, that's Crafty. And then, as we've just said, I'll be back with Rebecca for Amber Makes Panels. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft for mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. But I think for me, crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hello, good 
Good morning. Well, it's one day special time. We've got a brand new one day special, some beautiful stamps. And obviously also there is a complete collection. Uh, and without further ado, I'm going to run. <laughs> she did run and all. She proper ran. <laughs> go, Alex. Go, Alex. How she runs in them heels, I will never know. <laughs> Skills. Um, it is lovely to have you company. I thought I'd do the counts because I didn't do it last night and because I wanted to chat about the stamps, of course. Uh, brand new release from our lovely Tracy Evans. Morning, Tracy, if you're watching. Um, and as usual, really quirky, sketchy and fabulous. So, what you've got. Now, I'm going to talk about the one day special, but actually the big bundle is definitely the better value. So what I would suggest is don't buy the one day special, wait and start chat about the, the better value one. But in your one day special and in the big bundle are the brand new stamps. So I'll just pop these down so I can, oh they're behind me, but I'll do it like this anyway because I prefer doing it like this. So what you've got, first of all, you've got your fantastic flowers. So on the flowers, you can see you've got your doodle flowers there. You've got, it looks like, it looks like either of a little flower trough, doesn't it? Or it does look like a round barbecue. I only said that because I sat in one of them once at a party um, and we had been barbecuing. But anyway, um, it, it, see, I know, right? I know, I know. I sat in one, I thought it were a chair. It were a little bit warm. It don't got any food on it. Anyway, there you go. Happy days. Oh, there were days. There were the days, darlings. Um, so you've got your circle. <laughs> you've got your um, your little, uh, what do they call them? The tr is it a trough? I can't remember. Anyway, you've got, yeah, it is, isn't it? And then you've got your, your little days. So you've then got um, best wishes. And then you've got just a note. So that's your, your little florals. The next one, and I'll just take that off. The next one is um, your your wonderful little pot. Now, this reminds me, you know those really vintage uh, little kettles? You know the copper kettles? That's exactly what that reminds me. I'll show my mum had one of them. You've then got the post-it mark. You've got the, um, the fork, spoon and knife. You've also got vintage, fig one, fig two, fig three. Your little hearts there and made with love. Um, you'll notice as well, I mean, that flower is so Tracy, isn't it? You'll have seen the little flower on so many of Tracy's wonderful designs. Last but not least, and this is definitely my favourite, um, it is the, the beautiful iris. Absolutely love this. And what I like about this, our, um, we have got in this hour, we've got some... Um, and some happy hour deals. Uh, uh, with Tracy's artwork, the thistles really go with the florals. So they all mix and match beautifully together. I like that you've got the little extras there so you can build up. And then you've got the iris, of course, at the top. Now, this is your one day special. So if you do want to go for that, £43.97, you are saving £5 there. 562252. However, the big bundle, it includes all those that you've just seen, but it also includes two background stamps. Now, I absolutely love these. These stamps are seriously cool. There's so much you can do with these. I mean, the 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 one of them, the it's a need. It's not a it's not a it's not a think. It's a need. You've got on that one. I love that you've got your dream. You've got art. You've got create. You've got doodle in that fantastic word search there. That's so cool. The next one you've got with this one. See, so you've got all your beautiful numbers and obviously something like that. It's your backgrounds. You know, it's your it's your filarinerous. It's just your your necessities. Yeah, filarinerous. Now, with this one. So, if you're going for the big bundle, you're saving ten pounds, and you've got a flexi. Um, so it means already you've got a, a good saving, ten pounds saving. Five seven three zero seven five. However, if you're a Freedom member, the price drops by fourteen pounds and eighty pence. That means. Your price as a Freedom member is only £43.17. So, the one day, how much is a one day special? That's 43.97. So, actually, the big bundle for Freedom members is less than those. So, Freedom members, you're getting these essentially for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Freedom members, that's, our, um, that's an all and create bonus to you. So, if you are going for it, if you are a Freedom member, 
please check your baskets out. If you're not a Freedom member yet, be a Freedom member. It's worth joining all the eights, um, triple eight, triple eight, not like all the eights forever. Triple eight, triple eight, it's 697 to join Freedom. Obviously, if you are joining today, um, you get your little badge, you get your newsletter, but it is the savings. Um, if you're joining today, you're not paying any postage on anything for a month. If you want to carry Freedom on, you can carry Freedom on. If you want to cancel it, you can cancel it whenever you want. Um, it is a rolling membership if you don't cancel it, so just be aware of that. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, the complete bundle, half of the stock has gone. If you do want it, you do need to check your baskets out. Um, it is just sensational. And look at all these. There's so many ways you can use the stamps. You know, you've got, whether it's subtle, whether it's beautiful and bright and vibrant. Um, I love this one, the pyography which is amazing, using the stamps to actually stamp on wood and then um, use your pyography tool to, to actually burn into it. That is ace, isn't it? You know, if you're, you're selling your crafts, that is so cool by Wonderful Joe. Um, okay, it is your big bundle. If you want to go for this fantastic collection, you do need to check your baskets out. I love that one as well because it looks like it's in a little flower press. I think that's well cool. Okay, 573075, that's your item number. It is an amazing collection, brand new. It is, of course, from the wonderful Tracy Evans. 573075 is your item number. Now, what All and Create have done, All and Create have brought us some amazing happy hour deals. Every hour we have got some sensational deals. This one is my favourite in this hour. I've already borrowed this stamp because I couldn't find mine. So I've borrowed my stamp um, to use this one for first demonstration. £9.99. £9 oh, it better not sell out because I'm literally using this in the demonstration. Now, you're saving £8 here. I really love this. You've got that fantastic background. You've got the bee. You can see this one might look a bit dirty because I've just been using it. You've got the little bee house. You've got a fabulous little flower there as well. Nine nine nine. that is only for this hour. You need to be checking out your basket if you want it. 20% of the stock has gone. 241896. The next one, look at the snails. They're well cute. Um, so you've got your garden set as the garden snails. You've got your garden tools. So what you've got in this one, snails, the happiest snails are. Have you seen the little smiley faces? So you've got your little smiley face snails, they are racing. You've then got your thistle, and that thistle, you see, I think that goes beautifully with um, the iris. And um, we have got a larger thistle. Well, Trace has done a lar larger thistle, so they all go together. You've got your, your little um, birdie. You've got your, um, your garden tools. There. Oh, yeah, you've got 52. Where's my finger? <laughs> Uh, where I, man I managed to scrub my paints off this morning. Um, 52 minutes remaining on your happy hour deals. I love that one. I especially like the garden tools on that. I think they're quite fabulous. And again, you've got that wonderful sort of collage element. Now it's another happy hour deal, 9.99. Again, please check your baskets out on that. 9.73041. And then ribbit, ribbit, it's a little old frog. And do you know what? The finished samples for this were quite fabulous when we had these. Um, so you've got your big frog there, and there's loads of like doodle artwork in that. You've got its little crown, you've got frog, um, you've also got ribbit, ribbit, you've got little frog there, and then a good splatter. A good splatter, if you need a good splatter, there you go. Now, each one of those happy hour deals only for this hour and all just £10. If you do want them, you know what to do. 913273. Now, check out the website. We've got loads. It's All and Create. All and Create have been an amazing company at bringing us incredible products and a lot of products. I mean, we have got all sorts of goodies. Um, we have got for you... <laughs> Sorry, giggling. We have got for you... <laughs> Uh, um, and we've got amazing stencils, we've got a huge collection of stamps um, and of course with All and Create there's so many that mix and match together, there's so many different designers and yet there's so much um, that will coordinate so please please have a little perusal, see if there's something you haven't got yet or there's something that you've had your eye on 
um, you can of course put that into your flexi basket if you're going for that big bundle. Um, anyway, right, okay, ready to go. Let's go, I oh, know, that camera, that camera, that camera, not the big screen, not the other camera, that camera. It's because, it's because it's all the wrong way around and it messes with me head. Um, okay, so what I'm going to start with, I am going to start with um, that wonderful B stamp. That is your um, happy hour deal. I really like that. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do first of all is take that background stamp. I had to pinch yours because I couldn't find mine in my collection and I'm sure I've had it, but I couldn't find it. It happens and I do keep all my own crate stamps together. I'm going to um, stamp and emboss it in white first of all. So I want to do some layers. I want this one to be quite um, sort of soft in colours but also quite um, I want it to be pretty, you know, I want I want it to be nice, pretty colours. So I'm going to go for it there, and then I'm going to bring it down. Obviously, I'm using um, a clear embossing, so you might not be able to see anything as yet. I'm not too worried if it's not perfect, because you know me. That's, that's not really the aim of the game for me. There we go. So put clear uh, white embossing powder on that. Like so. So that's my white embossing powder. Did I bother getting myself any cardstock to catch this? Of course I didn't. And mm, it's paper I'm after, really. Oh, I do faff. Right, let me get myself that. So, cheeky bit of white embossing. Love it. And I like the white embossing powder because obviously... Um, when you're putting your layers on, it's nice to have that pop, isn't it, of the white. It looks really good. Oh, now, did I actually turn my plug socket on? We will find that out in one second. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, no flies on me this morning. Right, OK. So just heat embossing this. So first layer. Remember, this is only available at that ridiculous price for this hour. And it is very busy. All the happy hour deals are always busy. And I love it because it's a little treat and you don't know what you're going to get. You know, every hour it's like, oh, what we're getting this time. So it's quite exciting. Um, but yeah, please make sure you tune into every hour because there's something new every hour. Make sure you tune in to see what we're going to get. So, heat emboss that. Beautiful. It's funny, I had in my head that I was going to do all soft colours. But I also really want to use my, my gorgeous powders with all the mad, you know, mad sprinkle colour. So I'll see where that goes. I have got a plan. I kind of know where I'm going with this one. So theoretically, we've got a plan. Because I have already cut out my little bee house. And I've already cut out my little bee. So I know I'm going there. Um, but let's start with backgrounds on this one so i've got that in my my white embossing and um, what i want to do first mm, i am gonna and i know i said i were gonna go all soft and gentle and make it all but i'm not i'm gonna go bright and fabulous um so it's a bit of a glastonbury day today and i'm not quite sure why i've got my kimono thing that i bought at glastonbury and i've also got my glittery glastonbury leggings with that have got paint on them and the glitter seems to have come off in certain places and I'm not quite sure why, but I'm feeling the Glastonbury vibe. Yeah, just on my knees. But I th I'm not quite sure why that is. I think it's because I've been crafting in them and scuttling about. But they, they were at Glastow, so, you know. Oh, I love Glastow. So it's, it's my little, it's, it's my Glastonbury. Glastonbury vibes today. For some reason so popping this on like that so this just get background first of all um, I'm using the the beautiful powders I'm using are Lindy's gang which are coming up actually we've got more Lindy's gang coming up soon I can't remember when but I know we've got them soon it's on my it's in my happy planner <laughs> everything's in my happy plan okay look so spritz spritz and I just adore this. Oh, the colours are perfect for this. That beautiful light blue, that beautiful yellow with the, the honeycomb. Absolutely perfect. Look, look, isn't it? 
That is just the right colour palette. Um, I am going to blast this dry. I would normally let it dry naturally, but because I want to, to actually finish this in this hour, then I will blast it dry. I sometimes pick the colour up. If you don't want it as vibrant, pick it up with another piece of card or, of course, with um, rice paper. Because I'm blasting it dry, sometimes um, the, the fabulous splatters kind of disappear so you just need to be a bit careful you don't need to worry about um the embossing powder that's going to be absolutely fine it is wow embossing powder have a look on the website we will have wow products on the website shop by brand and i love how the colors match you know how they they all melt together it's just beautiful that is so perfect for this okay happy with that the bits that haven't dried off all i'm going to do is pick that up with i don't know where my rice paper is i think it's around the other side so i'll just get it with a little bit of paper for now there we go perfect beautiful colors that is such a nice spring fresh color which i want for the bees i think they really work right next start building up the background so even though this is going to be a really pretty one i want it to be really fresh i'm still going to use my kind of um my background stamps to actually build up on this so don't just think because it is pretty and stuff it can't be it can't have a little bit of grunge it can't be a little bit mixed media as well so bring these in so i'm going to go in with a little bit of yellow not much i'm going to go more more blue let's go more blue so in fact i'm going to do tumble glass i was working with tumble glass last night and i really like tumble glass so let's bring in a little bit of tumble glass now you'll see that's got a little bit of um i haven't cleaned my stamp oh but i love that so just bringing that in like such cool and I'd like it because, again, it just adds interest. You're adding layers. You're adding lots of different um, little elements to this. The other thing I wanted to add in, and I haven't used this one yet, and this is that gorgeous little flower. And I thought that was really, really pretty. But I don't want to completely cover it. I just want a little bit of that. And I'm actually going to use pink with this one because I thought pink would look really pretty on this as well. So with the stamp, because I only want the flower head, really, when I'm inking it up, I'm just being careful not to get any of the um, any of the leaves. And then I can just add a little bit of the flower in there. And I just want it here and there just to add to that collage effect. So that's completely what I'm creating is that lovely little collage effect, which looks really pretty, doesn't it? And you don't need much with that. I just want a, a touch of that one. Colour that in a bit. So... Let's see, we can just drag that. I'm working on my Bockingford. Bockingford, darling. Oh, we love a little bit of Bockingford. Which means, obviously, my paints, my inks, they'll move beautifully. And that, again, that's kind of what I want, because I want to be able to colour in. I want to be able to drag those colours. Now that, it is dragging my... Um, my uh, powders from underneath but that's absolutely perfect picking up a little bit of the pink from the mat so they are a bit more pink rather than what's underneath there we go i love that like so there we are so there that's pretty i like those that's really, really beautiful. So next, I want to come in and use that gorgeous flower. Now, this needs to stand out. So on this background, obviously I've got this really nice soft background, but I want the actual, this is my main image, so I need that to stand out. So I am going to stamp in black over the top. Just make sure it's nice and dry. Um, if you don't want to go black, if you want to go like a, a lighter shade, then maybe use a, a really soft brown. I don't know. I have got some um, stays on would be nice in brown on this. I wonder what I've got in my stays on. Sorry, I'm turning me back on you. But let's have a little look-see. Let's have a little look-see what I've got in stays on. 
So I've got, I've got red, I've got orange. See, orange would be quite nice on there. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp in orange first of all. If I change my mind, I'll go over with black. And things like this, again, I'm not using a stamping platform, but you can do it. I mean, just just hover over and if you want to re-stamp, it's absolutely possible. So that's where I want it to, to sit. I am going to cut this down as ever, so it's not going to be as big a piece as I'm working on. So stamping orange. Mm. Now, not as keen. I'll tell you why. <laughs> that isn't really orange. What it is, it's kind of black because I didn't clean my stamp. So the, it's obviously picked up the black from my stamp. But actually, it's got a kind of a brown hue to it, hasn't it? But I think it needs to be stronger. So I am going to go in with black on that one because I think it needs to pop a little bit more than it is doing. So I'm going to go in with my black. Like this one. So popping this on. And what I love about this, it shows that lovely B stamp works so well with the one day special you know everything goes together beautifully see and that now i love it because now that pops that has got i've got my gorgeous background and then that pops beautifully on the front there now that b stamp is really really busy in fact a third of the stock has gone you've got 39 minutes to go the clock is ticking if you would love to get hold of that gorgeous gorgeous b stamp please check your baskets out because it is very very busy do not miss out on that one it is of course um your lovely happy hour deal sorry i was looking for green paint but i couldn't find it i've got my whole music don't play my whole music while i look for is it going this is my whole music <laughs> so while while leon is rummaging we can put whole music on oh i can't find green how can i not have green paint i'm back whole music <laughs> that uh that's all right. That's, Molly loves that. It's our, it's your favourite game, isn't it, our mouse? Favourite game, favourite game. Cheeky bit of whole music. Uh, it is a good game, though, Molly. I like it. Good game. Right, OK. That's just going... I wanted this in paint, and I wanted it in paint, really, because I wanted it to be um, stronger. I wanted, opa I wanted the opacity, but for some reason I can't find green paint. I know I've got green paint somewhere. I mean, I'm a crafter. I've got to own green paint. Okay, so just going round. And I want that, I want it green because obviously it's a flower and I think it just looks rather pretty. What have you found? No, no, it's paint. Don't matter, done it now. And actually quite like that. My little marker, water-based marker. Oh, that's quite a nice marker. Didn't even know I had that. Which means if it's water-based, oh, it'll bleed out, lovely. And I just, now look at that, I love it over the honeycomb of the, the bees. I just think that is such a, a beautiful effect. I really like that. Okay, and then the gorgeous flowers. Obviously, the flowers need colouring in, otherwise they're not going to pop. The flowers I am absolutely going to paint, however. And with that one, I think I'm going to go with a really nice, bright colour for the flowers because I want those to really, really pop. Um, and I am going to paint. Now... I like um, mixing up your different um, your different things that you're using. So using your inks, using your paints, using all your your uh, pens as well, because you get your different effects. It'll all give you something different. Like the the powders give you the mica, so that gives you that beautiful pop of mica. The um, the inks will obviously give you a bit more translucency, whereas your paint, that gives me the opacity, so it gives you a really nice, strong colour. I mean, look how strong that is. And it's vivid, so that means it'll just pop on the background that we've created. So I'm moving it round just to make it a bit easier to colour in. It's a really nice thick line. She's done it with a thick line with these flowers. So they're dead easy to colour in. And actually... Even though you've put quite a bit of paint down, you still see the, the line. So, now remember this has been stamped twice because I changed my mind. So, it might be that the line is a little bit thicker, but actually, it doesn't matter at all. 
because this is a lovely thing we're painting. If I were going over with ink, you might still see that line. But the beautiful thing going over with your paint is that you're covering your line better. So if you have done a bit of a of a blur, to be fair, I haven't. And you can tell with the blossom, it's a tiny bit off, but nothing, nothing horrendous at all. Right, just going on. I love this colour. I love that at the beginning I was going to go really soft and pastel and bright. And instead I've used bright yellow, bright blue, and then bright cerise, which is lovely. <laughs> what are you up to? Are you looking for green paint? Oh, I lovely Matt's looking for green paint. Yeah, it is. Yeah, botanic green. Botanic green. Oh, that's a nice green. Good find. Matt's found it. <laughs> I didn't know I had that. Uh, go find our Matt. Matt's really, f you, when obviously now we do the social distance in Malarkey, um, he can't come and tidy up after me. But Matt, you, you used to be really good at tidying up after me, didn't you, Matt? <laughs> he used to come and organise it. drives me, he used to drive me insane. <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> he'd come and, he'd be there, be there crafting, he'd come and tidy up. <laughs> but it made me laugh. But yeah, oh yeah, this social distance is put paid to the fun <laughs> of tidying. Okay, so now. Oh, look at those flowers with the pink. Don't they look marvellous? Love a bit of pink. And then all I'm going to do, I will cut this out, obviously, make it into a piece. I would cut it down as ever. But to finish, look, you've then got the beautiful little bee house. Love the bee house. So we got the little bee house already coloured that in, but I just thought on the side that would look beautiful. What I am going to do, because I've coloured it in, but round the edges, because I want it to pop a little bit on that background, if if you've die cut, or not die cut, if you've uh, fussy cut something out, just go round a bit with your ink. And obviously it's the white bits, but it'll put that shading on that background. So it means it'll pop a bit. So I'm going to glue that down there. So that's going to be like that. And then we've got the little bee. And the little bee is, of course, flying round the little flowers like that. Now let me have a little look, see. See if I like it. Oh, it's because it's not a bumblebee. That's... There's lots of bees. Oh, I'm Molly. Molly's just said it's a more than one bee. Oh, oh I'm moles. Yeah, babes. There's lots of different types of bees. So you get solitary bees that don't have hives. They just they live on their own. Um, you get bumblebees, of course. You get bees that look like wasps. So they aren't wasps, but they, they look like it. Um, you get tons and tons. Of, there's so many, and that's that's all I know. Yeah, they're not all bumblebees. And I think they are. They come out at different times of the year as well, don't they? I think I'm right in that. And, like, they've got, yeah, they've got different patterns as well. Yeah, there's loads of different types of bee. Oh, my word. You have not. She only, know, she only goes near bumblebees. No, some bees, they just look a bit waspy, but actually they're bees. So there you go, you see. Life of the bee? No, they're not dangerous. They, bees don't sting you as much as wasps because they die when they sting you. So they're a bit more careful. There. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's better being a bee than a wasp. Wasps. But, oh, I've, wasps are a bit scarier. I'm not going to lie. But do you know what? And I shouldn't really say this, but I've never been stung. That, so there you go. Well, obviously, we both run really, really well, don't we, Moles? Okay. Just run. Just run from anything that flies. Uh, seagulls. <laughs> yeah, anything with eight legs. Anything that flies. Anything that buzzes. See, I'm, I'm worse way. I don't... Mosquitoes freak me out more than bees and wasps. I hate mosquitoes. 
Oh, I'm allergic to mosquitoes. Right, the, I'm well happy with that. Little white dot in the center finishes it. I obviously need to cut it down and mat it onto something, but doesn't that look fabulous? And look how that beautiful blossom fits perfectly. See, that represents the circle of life. And obviously the bee is helping keep the circle of life because of the pollination. Boom, protect the bees. Hooray, there you go, a little bit of bee fact. Um, now, obviously, please check your baskets out. Remember, the clock is ticking on those happy hour deals. And if you're a Freedom member, it is going to be better for you getting the big bundle. If you know nothing about it, hey Janice, can you tell us more? Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family lovely jubbly uh, now with the one day special you can get that that is at the bottom of the screen but what most of you are going for is of course the complete collection like anything we want it all so take a look at these fabulous stamps that we have got for you loving this so we've got our best wishes numbers made with love iris and splatter and you are getting 24 stamps in total um, and they are just so cool aren't they look at these look at the it's always about the detail for me that i adore look at that beautiful flower also it's always the detail sort of in the background as well i'm loving that sort of um, the, it's like an old-fashioned kettle, isn't it? I love that. It's so cool. And then you can see some really, really lovely samples as ever. They do some, the design team are amazing. Then, of course, you've got your numbers with all of that artwork in the background. Uh, that is part of the complete collection as well. Create, paint, wonderful stuff. Let's go, let's see those, some samples, because I think that's, um, so you can get some ideas of what sort of thing you can do. I love this. So yeah, kind of sealing it behind the glass and don't the colors look absolutely divine. And then look at these beautiful flowers. And of course, the way they've been colored, their inky backgrounds. Love the knives and forks. You make them shiny. Well, indeed they are. Make them nice and metallic. Now, isn't this clever? On the chopping board. I just think, I think that's absolutely awesome. Amazing. Uh, you can make them bright and neon like this. Uh, adding some texture as well. That's the thing with these stamps. Because you can make them mixed media. You can make them pretty. You can make them grungy. You can do whatever you fancy with them. But hopefully this is going to give you lots and lots of beautiful ideas. Look at this. This is the iris. It's stunning, isn't it? Look at those colours. And then we've got our fabulous little kettle. Just a note. Yes, they put the kettle on. I'm coming round. There you are. Um, so you've got absolutely stunning, stunning design. So I'm about to drop this. There we go. Um, now have a look at the price because we have got it 
on a freedom discount as well as you already having a great saving. So the freedom discount ends up being sort of less expensive than the one day special, uh, which is rather marvellous. So if you want to go for the whole thing as a freedom member, it's £43.17. And, and of course, you can spread the cost. There it is, two payments of £21.59, and, and we will send everything out to you. They are beautiful stamps, and for any occasion, I feel, uh, 573075. Now, we're over half the stock gone for the complete collection. It's been very, very busy out there, and it's meant to last 24 hours, so we'll see what happens. Uh, so, as I said, 573075. Okay, happy hour has also been very, very busy. Check these out. So we'll start with this first one. <laughs> it's got the little, are we on the right one? Is that the right one? Okay, this one's really cute because it's got the little snails. Isn't this adorable? Look at this, the little snails. You've got the little, you've got like the trowel on there, the fork. Amazing. I just think they're so cute. Look at the little bird. <laughs> That's adorable. Let's swizzle this around. Really beautiful stamps. Uh, £9.99, so you've got an £8 saving. A quarter of the stock has now gone. Item number is 973041, and remember, it's only for the hour, so you've only got 25 minutes to get it at this price. The bees that our lovely Leone's been working with, these have been super popular. Now, we're approaching half the stock gone. Look at the bee. I love the hive. I love the beehive because it's quite quirky. You've got the honeycomb. So they are beautiful stamps. Again, this is a happy hour. 9.99 and you've got an eight pound saving. 2.41896. We love our bees. Ah, and then we've got the frogs. I love the frogs because they're just really quirky and really cute. So you've got the big frog and the little frog. I'll turn them around because he's being covered up there. Uh, on the packaging and then they've got crowns that you can pop on them so it's like the you know kiss the frog and maybe you'll get the prince we'll see <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> Ross said it's worth a gamble uh, nine pounds and 99 pence again for the hour eight pounds saving nine one three two seven three um, here's the website because there's loads more you can shop by brand of course so go and find all and create Lots and lots of background stamps. Uh, what set is that one? I'm just like, oh, Magical House. I've not seen that before. I must have been off when that was on. Oh, I've got, um, I've got that lovely paintbrush, uh, paintbrush stamp. I love that one. Been using that at home. Uh, now, if you want to send in any pictures, as ever, we love seeing what you've been making. So if you've got any stamps from All and Create, there's a lady, isn't there, um, Leone, that's literally collecting every single All and Create yes. stamp? Yes. Uh, yeah, I can't remember who that was, Alex. <coughs> she had laws, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Email in. Oh, I love seeing your pictures. I love seeing what you've been doing. Um, okay, what I'm doing, I'm just quickly cutting out a mask of the iris because I love the iris. So, last night when I were taking photos of the stuff that I made to put on, um, on social media, that stamp, that one. I changed it to grayscale, you know, because obviously just to look at the different types of, um, of effects. And actually when it was grayscale, they looked really cool. And I thought, it looks that good just in black and grey. Let's do it. I'm, now, I'm, I'm playing here, so if it doesn't turn out quite as good as I like or I want, then um, at least we can just colour it in. But I really like just the grey, the black and the grey. I think it looked really striking. So that's what I wanted to build up. We might put a little bit of colour into it, but I'm aiming for, for not. So what I'm going to start with is uh, the beautiful iris. This is going to be my centre point. Because that's going to be the centre point, I want that darker. So I am going to do that in, um, in black. So I'm using my, my Versafine for this one. I'm tempted to actually emboss this one as well, to put clear embossing over the top. So it really, um, it really sort of seals the deal that this is the, the main one. So popping that on first of all, like so, beautiful. And let's put clear embossing powder over this one, not white, so that would ruin it altogether. So clear embossing, because I'm working with Versafine Claire, the, um, the ink stays wet for longer, so the clear embossing powder should stick to that one. So this is just going to, to sort of 
make sure that that image stands out. So when I build up more images round it, that's uh, the stronger one because um, because it's embossed. So I'll just whip over it with my embossing tool. And again, using the wow heat embossing tool. And you can see how those lines, they're just a little bit richer with the clear embossing powder over the top. And also, the other reason I'm doing this the, ver um, the clair, the Versifying clair, it does stay wet a bit longer. So when you're you're working with other inks and you're over stamping, sometimes it's easier to smudge. I absolutely do not want to smudge this. Because I'm going for, I want it very crisp. And that isn't me. You know what I'm like. I'm always dirty fingers. But I want it really crisp. So I didn't want to smudge that image. So I'm going to put the mask over it. And this means I can start building up round it. There we go. So, pop the mask on. And already, already, I've got my dirty fingers on there. Oh, do you know I drive myself nuts? The, the reason I've done that, I've got dirty fingers, is because I used the first fine clear to the mask. So, obviously, when you're cutting it out, you get dirty fingers, and obviously it isn't dry yet. So, don't do that. Not to everybody what not to do. Okay, so, then going to take um, the background stamps. So, starting to layer with the background stamps. Now, normally with these, I don't use um, a block, but I am going to do on this one because I want it quite pristine, as I say. So, I'm going to start with greys. So, I've got greys. I've got different shades of greys, different makes of greys. So this is my archival. And that one, I'm going to go straight over that image. And of course, because I've masked it off, you'll get that beautiful... Oh, I love that already. I love that already. See, these background stamps are fabulous. They're such good stamps. You need these in your life. I mean, you can obviously get them um, separately if you want to, but if you are going for that big deal and you're part of freedom, you're not actually paying for them. I mean, you can't get much better than that now, can you? So, popping these in grey. You can if you want to. You can. <laughs> you can, Matt's still looking for grey. Um, if you want to, you can stamp again, then it won't be as strong. I will be cutting this down, so it's not going to be the full thing. But as yet, it's just layers. So I've done my numbers. I'm then going to go for my other background. So my other background is just equally beautiful. Now, I'm going to actually mix up my greys. So I've used grey from my archive. I'm now going to use grey. This is cloudy sky, and this is a stays on one. So it's going to be a different shade. It looks like it might be darker, but who knows? Oh, don't stays on smell nice. Right, OK, do it the right way. The lovely thing is with these as well, they're the same size, so it means they're easy to start... Oh, there you go. They're easy to start fitting into the gaps, which I really like. Yep, love that. And then we'll pop this one at that top corner, like this. So just lining that up. I can see through my block, so I can see where I'm going. And that lines up like that. And I love the, the doodle and things. I think they look quite fabulous. OK, I like that. And then what I'm going to bring in on this side is some of the doodles in the stamps. Now, the actual stamps themselves, you've got some really nice little extra stamps. So with this one, you've got the iris. And with the iris, you've got the little splats in there. So this is where now we start mixing it up a little bit. So I'll put the iris there, which looks beautiful. I'm then going to take this, so the same stamp, the iris stamp, but let's bring in a little bit of black. So let's make it a bit darker and we'll pop that over here like so. Love that. Okay, and then let's bring in, this is another one of my favourites, I love this stamp. It's really, really cool. And it's just numbers, but I think that's the lovely thing about this set. You know, you can start 
over stamping how cool is that stamp it's it's ridiculous that one stamp i think just makes it go pop like that it's just such a good image so one of them i don't actually want to use it too much because i like it that that much but but i also want to start filling in and it's a great filler in it as well in fact i might pop it over there really like oh no i'm not i'm not i don't want to so i'm not i'm going to stamp it off that's off the page because i'm not going to be using that but that is obviously i'm cleaning my stamp but that in itself is a great background because i've just remembered one of the other stamps that you've got within the whole collection is the beautiful um the beautiful post-it note the postage that one postage stamp thing i really like that as well Fabulous Rochester. There. So pop that up here. Like so. Love that. Okay. Let's have a little look, see where we're going. I love things like this. Because it's masked off, it's you don't quite know what it's gonna look like. And I I always love, love masking off. I think it looks really cool. You've then got now we have got the life stamp. Um sorry, the iris stamp. Why were I reading life? So we'll bring the iris stamp as well. And we'll put that like that about there. Beautiful. See, so when it's cut down, you're going to see it like that. So that's what it'll look like. Okay, now let's have a little look-see of what it looks like. Now, while your mask is in place, to make this pop a little bit more, and obviously because we are doing grayscale, what I want to do is just bring in a sponge. Now I'm going to go for which sponge? Let me go for that one. And while the mask is in place, just drag in the ink from the mask. So I'm just picking up a little bit of black ink and just dragging it in from the mask. So what this will do is just give me, immediately it will give me a bit of a drop shadow. So it'll just give me that kind of, that lovely shading around it. So again, this will emphasize that that's my main image. Spin the card around. I'm working on, um, I'm working on a, a super smooth card. So I know it, the ink dries nice and quickly. There we go. And just being really, I am being careful with this because I don't want it to be too, I don't want to get too heavy with the, the grey around there. I still want, you know, I, I want some tones to it, but I don't want it intense. I want to be able to see under it. I want to see those marks under, and I don't want to ruin any of the marks that I've made. Just spin that round. It's one of those that I love the grey scale, but I'm also dying to put a really, you know, a real bright splash of colour in it. And I might do that. I might just do a massive splatter in bright purple or something. We'll have a little look-see. Okay, bright yellow. Well, I'm thinking purple because it's the iris. Because you know what I mean? And I think that would be really strong next to it. Right, I'm going to cut it down. So before I actually remove the mask, I'm going to cut it down because I'm going to pop this on a piece of black card as ever because I always think that looks amazing. It'll look amazing on a piece of black card and then on a piece of purple card, which is why purple splat would really work for it. Have I cut that even? There we go. Now, the bits that I've cut off, look how cool you would not get rid of any of these. These little bits there, see, I love the scraps. Sometimes these scraps, look, if I cut these up, I look... Things like this, they make some really cool cards because if you've got little scraps like this and then that bit at the bottom, you can make some really cool little things out of this sort of bit there. All those bits there and then that bit there. See, this is really faffing now, isn't it? Six minutes and I'm faffing with little scraps. But, but... Hold on, that's one. So look, look, these ones. I love things like that because you can make some really cool backgrounds with those kind of scraps. Really like it because something like that makes a really cool background and then you can always put something over the top. But anyway, that's just by and by. So keep those, keep your scraps. 
Okay, bring that back in again. So that's my iris. Then what I need to do is get in a bit of black card. Oops, a bit of black card that's been torn, but I will I will mat and layer it proper. But just so you can see, see on black, it already looks amazing, doesn't it? So on black, then on purple, that's going to look fabulous. But then let's lift the mask off. Boom. Look at that. I really like that. I just think in grayscale, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Really want... I'm not going to... I'm going to be... Re oh. <laughs> you know what I said about colour? Oh, I am a mucky crafter. I don't know where I've picked that up from. I do know where I've picked that up from. I picked it from that paint splodge on me, Matt, haven't I? Oh, I drive myself mad. But actually, it's OK, because that's made me decide that's what colour I'm going to go with my splatter. We're going to go bright pink with the splatters. That's OK. So then just going round the edge, obviously black, and then the splatters. I really like that. And this is only because I were faffing about with my, my setting on my phone when I were taking photos. And it was like, oh, my word, that looks so cool in grayscale. So I thought, right, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to do a grayscale one just to see what it looks like. And, I mean, you could do it. It doesn't have to be blacks and greys. It could be just, you know, beiges or whatever. But then let's put a mad splatter of that bright pink. And that makes me happy. There we go. Bright splatter. Boom. And it's not too thick either, is that um, my splatter. So it's really quite... Looks cheeky bit. Oh, it does that. Let me show you. And I will mat and layer it proper and I will put photographs onto the, um, onto the, whatever it's called, Instagram. There. See? Do you like it? Do you like it in grayscale? Looks a bit classy, doesn't it? Don't you think? Classy, not brassy, don't you think? I love that. I'm well chuffed with that. Boom, that's it. That's finished and I've not even run out of time. Are you, are you amazing? Not run out of time. Boom. Um, okay, please have a look out at the website, achanda.com. I've done two demos, I've not run out of time. Um, have a look at the website. You will see so many goodies from All and Crate. I mean, All and Crate are amazing. Um, they give us so many incredible, incredible products. You've got, obviously, with this, um, with All and Crate, there's something from um, from Abs, there's something from Tracy. Um, well, oh, but Pasha, do check out because you've got so many different variants and different styles, um, but they're all amazing. If you do want anything, you know what to do. Um, them happy hour deals, however, we're running out of time with them. Um, we do have different happy hours coming up in the next hour. Right, our Alex is ready and waiting. I am indeed. Right then, so you've got your three happy hours that are going to run out in about seven and a half minutes. Um, and they've all got, an, I think they've all got the eight pound saving on, but they're, I love them because they're really quirky good fun stamps to play with for any occasion so we've got our lovely garden themed one first where we have got you know your tools tools for in the garden uh, plus you've got the um, is it thistle is that, yeah it is I thought so a thistle there's that cute little <laughs> it's such a cute little bird I just love it what's hanging off he's so it's, it's so quirky isn't he and then um, we've also got the snails, loving the snails. They're very happy, aren't they? Little snails in a row. Plus you've got some words. I'm just going to pick this up if I may because I can't read it that way around. Live life in full bloom. Every day is a new beginning. And then you've got your garden tools. Really cool. Uh, so for this option, it's £9.99 and you've got the £8 saving. 973041. Then the next one, we have got our lovely bees. Uh, the honeybees have been really popular. You're liking these. Uh, so you've got your big bee. I mean, he's quite a sizable bee, isn't he? Uh, then you've got the hive, which is a little bit rickety looking. I like that. And then you've also got the honeycomb. This one has been really popular as well. Liking that one. Uh, so that again is 9.99. Item number is 241896. Then we have a third um, happy hour for you with our frogs. Our gorgeous frogs. Aren't they really, really good fun? Uh, you've got the big frog and the little frog. Have a look here. 
There you go. And then they've got crowns. And there's, I like that there's a, a, like a splatter there. That's cool. £9.99, £8 saving, 913273. Don't forget, of course, the complete collection is super busy because um, you like it all, you want it all. And you've got the iris in there. You've got all sorts of wonderful stamps. Um, here it is. Details coming onto the screen. Here we are. Right, £47.97. In here, you have got your best wishes, numbers, made with love, iris and splatter. 24 stamps in total. Um, and, of course, it's on Freedom, which is just marvellous. Thank you very much, Miss Leone. Thank you very much, darling. Bless it. Um, we will be... No, I'm with you at 4 o'clock, but also oh. Leone is back at 12 first off for the one day special and the complete collection. We'll see you after this short break. <laughs> Next up are now, if you like me and you like Halloween y stuff and Christmas stuff, then you need to tune into That's Crafty. Next, then we've got Amber Makes Panels and then The Pergamano Show. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm Tracy from Paratex UK. Paratex is um, a non-toxic water-based fabric hardener. Whether you're making a sculpture, creating a fantastic canvas, we've got products that can help you to do that. We can all use it. You can craft with your children. It doesn't matter what age you are or what ability. When we bring the product to Hachanda, you will see the possibilities are absolutely endless. As a family run business, we love being part of the Hachanda family. So watch the Powertech shows on Hachanda for some fantastic creative fun. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hachanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanga. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. 
I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Hello there and welcome. Welcome to what is going to be an amazing hour because of course we are talking that's crafty. We've got a mix of all sorts, we've got a little bit of Christmas, a little bit of Halloween and a little bit of gorgeousness because we've got some amazing brand new stamps, brand new MDF, some incredible brand new stencils and we've got the incredible Jo Channon with us. Good morning. Good morning. I'm looking You're forward right. to this one. Isn't it fabulous? I love it because you yeah. kind of um, kind of did the initial introduction. I mean, Kelly Hawk, we yes. know Kelly because she's come to her chanda herself yes. here with yeah, her fabulous absolutely. books. Yeah, so, so of course, she came along here with her, her colouring books, which are the most illustrated colouring books, I think, the most detailed books I've seen in a very, Beautiful, very long yeah. time. And, um, yeah, so, uh, and, um, and Laura um, could see, obviously, Im immense talent, what needs to be put into stamps so that we can then go forward with it as crafters oh, and stampers. And, and, and we came on uh, about a month or so ago with the Steampunk Darlings. And that was the very, original very, yes, first that's one, right. wasn't it? That was one the, day yes, special. One day special. And it was uh, so popular. Everybody loved them. And so now we've got Halloween and Christmas. We have, and they are fabulous <laughs> images, as you can see here. I mean, Kelly's style just gives you the open opportunity for you to add whatever you want to this, so to colour them in the way that you want it to. That's right. Obviously, Halloween, we've seen lots of black, we've seen lots of kind of fluorescent greens and oranges. But yeah. to be honest, these little characters, if you're into that kind of goth look or maybe a steampunk kind of look, these would lend yeah. themselves really well outside of Halloween. Yes, they would, without any question at all. And, and I do think there's, there's several of the images that really uh, doing them in different colours would absolutely take away from any Halloween. Well, this is really it. Would. But do you know, Halloween actually in crafting has really picked up over the yeah, last few yeah. years. And I think it's um, to have characters like this with such sassiness, if that's a word. <laughs> I, I don't know, know if it is, but... Well. Jo did that. She rolled her eyes and she <laughs> shook her shoulders. She's sassy. If she can be sassy, that is definitely a sassy look. Um, oh. Now, these I are brilliant. I have to hold on to the counter, though, when I do. <laughs> Go I a bit giddy just, afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> I think that comes with age because I'm getting that. <laughs> These are brilliant examples. Now, do have a little look at some, some of the MDF pieces that we've got coming up. So all the different elements that you can see on here, obviously you've got things like the bats and the birds and the trees there, and there's, or crows, should I say, I suppose they are really, aren't they? Um, all sorts of little goodies that you can be adding in. So the, um, the coffee lids, we've got those available, um, and we've also got the details at the bottom as well for skulls and all sorts, but I'll show you them all, don't worry. But these are perfect, good aren't size they? as well for the yes. stamps. Yes. Yes, they are. So you've got two sizes of the the. Co <laughs> I always think it's a bit odd saying coffins, really, but you know what I mean. But it's but the coffee chain is with all, it, it's it? fantastically yeah. in keeping. We've got the tombstones as well, of course. But you can see there on the stamps, you've got um, two main images, which of course you can break down, you can decoupage up. And then, of course, you've got lots of additional stamps as well. So you do need to look at them as a whole. But that one there, we're coming up there. Oh, lovely, Jimmy. Thank you. Um, this one is one of Shelley's. And you can see, and she actually she wrote this poem as well, Did which is she? so cool, isn't it? Um, so you can see the... The craftability with these stamps is just amazing. And of course, what Laura's put together as well from That's Crafty with the, um, the, the, the crafty uh, board and of course, like you say, the uh, uprights 
That's amazing. Nice, it's brilliant. There you go. Really and of course, you've got certain elements, like the pumpkin, if you want to do something kind of um, harvest time or That's maybe right. something September and um, October yes. kind of uh, yeah. um, that kind of theme, then you can do that quite easily with these as well. Now, £39 and £97. I've changed the details um, on your screen because you can get all three of these together. Got a £5 saving and it gives you the ability to spread the cost over two payments, as you can see there. Now, they are available as individuals, but if you want to get that saving and your flexi buy, then do go for the bundle all together. Now, individually they are just £14.99 which is brilliant value mm. as I said I do like a bit of a saving so do consider going for that complete bundle and also don't forget if you're just going for a couple of these and you're going to be looking at paying well the best part of £30 really aren't you why not consider going for the complete bundle spreading the cost over two payments and you're actually paying a little less than you anticipated on paying today second payment will go out obviously in a month's time but it will mean that you'll have all three of those which means you can kind of cross pollinate and use them across different ways together love these absolutely amazing so if you're wanting yours then the details are there for your little darklings the details are there so um, 428077 they're proving to be a very popular little bundle and um, there and uh, what was the update sorry then nearly 20 percent of the stock has really? gone already mm, oh, wow. busy so busy pleased. you're loving these now christmas Lovely. let's go um, yes. towards christmas now again kelly's created some beautiful characters for these so absolutely so she's so clever isn't she because You've just seen the little darklings, which I love the name, by the way. And then, of course, moving straight on to Christmas. And the images are just, I mean, look at this one there. Isn't she just beautiful? You could use her with the window, without the window. And, of course, we've got those amazing shrines, which all the design team have, have had the opportunity to use. And alongside, I have to say, if you are going for some of the stamps, do if you can pop some of these in your baskets because to make these i have had such a lot of fun in fact i lost a whole day making a whole I imagine it was you so, could do it quite honestly, easily it was so so easily done but the design team always i have to thank them they've just done an incredible job um, and each and every one of them is so very different so looking at the images there you can use them as a, a, obviously as the focal point in the shrine there but the Christmas shape, of course, you've got the Christmas shape and then you've got the oval with the snowflake cut out. Um, and then, um, but yeah, just with the additional stamps. Aren't they fabulous? Aren't they? Now, the shrines that we're holding up here that the design team have worked with, I mean, some amazing examples here. You'll see very much a wintry theme with these. We've got Christmas trees with those apertures in there. We've got the fabulous kind of snowflake um, kind of decorated. But have you noticed that with these, obviously, you've got the shaping with the Christmas tree with this one. Did you notice that with this snowflake one, how you've actually got that cut into the MDF, which I think looks absolutely amazing, as you can see there. Lovely detail with it? those. Beautiful. Now, if you are wanting to use some things, um, for your um, cards then here you go have another little look at this one as you can see there absolutely beautiful and they're gorgeous I love them um, and loads of different ways so do make sure that you are taking advantage of these and do as Joe said there a few moments ago um, add these in alongside those shrines as well so 630864 very very busy for these as well and again you're getting a lot of content in each yes, of these sets you are because also, like we said, you've got the two main images, but if you break some of those down, you've got such a lot of detail in each one. I mean, for instance, that one that we've just seen, oh, love, oh, thank you so much for doing that, because I, that they honestly, the girls that have put the lights in have made such a lot of effort to do this. And they are just beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. Gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, um, at 630-864, if you're wanting to get hold of yours, again, that's the set of three. Set one, two, and three coming together with another £5 saving and, of course, the ability to spread the cost. Again, if you want them individually, by all means, do check them out. They're £14.99. You'll find them on the website, and I know many of you don't shop online, but if you give our call centre a call, they will be able to help you with those, and they'll be able to talk through those too. And they're at the bottom of the screen. It's just one item number, three different options. So you don't need different numbers, but do have a chat with them call operators if you get stuck so what else can you be adding into your basket those wonderful little mdf shrines and this is something we regularly see from that's crafty bringing us elements and they kind of they have the ability to bring these elements that are going to complement your stamps all in one go when they put the shows together there's a lot of thought has gone to them and these are beautiful i mean joe they're yeah. such good sizes aren't, aren't they 
Yeah, so um, this one that we're just looking at there, that's actually my saf this afternoon's um, demonstration. Oh, this one here? My, yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, Lovely. so um, and so Halloween this morning, Christmas this afternoon. Okay. Um, but these are just lovely to work with. They really are, and so very easy to put together as well. Um, like the other shrines that we've had before. But oh, what I love, like you say, it's such a wonderful surface to work on. So and easy and affordable, yeah, they are. that's the thing. That's right. And the price to get what you're getting is tremendous. Well, this it is really it. Is. It is. And the tags, loving the tags. Now, well, um, this is it. It's not just the shrines. So you've got no. your snowflake, you've got your Christmas tree, but you've also got your tags as well. And these are a really good size. I like these. They are. Aren't they? These are little projects all of their own, aren't they? So you can see what the size in, obviously, because they're, they're, they're really handling those the main sets of stamps on there. And I think they do. The the main uh, the, you know the main sets the the actual main figures of this in the sets look tremendous on the tags. Love the little cutouts at the top. Well, this is it. Have you Aren't noticed they it? I mean, that is fabulous like there. I mean, obviously, yes. the little darlings are beautiful to work with your Christmas tag for the darklings. That's one of the of course, new stencils. Look at these with the mm. little um, trees cut out mm. there. I'm sure you spotted it with the others. Going to bring the others in as well. So you've got a series of stars. You've also got your slow, um, snowflakes there. And of course, you are going to get three of these tags. So you'll have one of each. So let me just, rather than confusing the yeah. issue, yeah, um, give you it. those. So you will get three of those within your bundle alongside your snowflake top shrine and your Christmas tree shrine as well. Thirteen ninety nine, incredibly affordable. Um nine three two five five zero. Beautiful now, Halloween. And now with this one, similar sort of idea. Um wrapped crafty. I thought, well what else can we bring you to complement those fabulous little darkling stamps? And I have to say they have yeah. done it again. These are they have. fabulous. Aren't they cute? <laughs> well it's maybe not cute, maybe it's not the right word but <laughs> um I mean <laughs> Those skulls, what the girls have done with those skulls is just tremendous. They really, really are. Um, I mean, I've, I've, had a, I've had a job to, to know which ones to put at the front, but I will keep turning them around, and I'm sure you will as well, Hayley, but they, they've just done some tremendous these. work. Uh, cut out individual elements of the stamps, um, like the cats, obviously, and then there's the owl. Um, there's lots of different things. And, of course, adding this one. Oh, this clever? was Mark's, Mark's favourite. He, he just was completely in awe of this. If you Would you mind just turning it just round just slightly? Because if you look on the forehead of the skull, what Amanda's done there is she's built it up with the structure paste oh, I see. to make okay. it look it's it looks can so see, real let me try and show you can you see just about there it's a tri tricky one you, to it show is you. a it's tricky one it is. Oh, there you go if i show you there you go if i tilt it forward can you see it's kind of that lumpy bumpy look isn't it there it's terrific go. it really is and the shading of of, of uh, but it's just I don't mean it's all it is because obviously a lot of creativity been put but into this but um it's the MDF piece, obviously, the, st the stand up there. And look how different they look it's when you just amazing. change them around. Well, this almost and turns it into that kind of the Day of the Dead look, doesn't it, with all those bright colours? Definitely, yes. And there's a sugar one there as well, which the, the work put into that. Um, that, that was yeah. Rachel's, honestly. So, it's and just... this kind of base is perfect if you do want to do your doodling, if yes, you do want to draw through your stencils and get those definitely. results going. Because all you need to do is just put a coat of gesso on, and then go ahead with your micron pens and things like that, and then put your colours in. And look at this. What Shelley's done here is, look, she's put the spiders in the eyes. And they're looking Can amazing. Can you see? Oh. I need to get some, um, <gasps> try and find something that's a little Honestly. bit lighter to show. Will that work behind there? I don't know whether that will work. The detail. The detail and what you can make with them. And, of course, not forgetting, of course, anything that you make using the stamps, the MDF, or anything on the counter, you can sell. Well, this is the thing. And so here, these are very, very saleable. Aren't they just? And they'll, very be, they'll work well with other things that you've got. Maybe you've got moulds that you've used to create oh, different yes. elements as well. Maybe you've picked up some of these along yeah. your way. Yeah. You're just looking for the opportunity to, to use yeah. them. I mean, look at these. Well, Mark's um, Mark's going to hope. Hopefully, he's going to, <laughs> he's going to get in touch with Laura because he desperately wants some of those schools to put some stone art on for power Oh wow! Yeah. I think they are going to look just tremendous with power text on. Absolutely fabulous. And this yeah. one. Isn't this cool what Rachel's done? And and it's just such a typical tombstone look, isn't it? 
absolutely, I love this here as well. Brilliant. Gorgeous. That could be something that you picked up from, well, maybe like a LeBlanche style um, embellishment. Do you know, that wouldn't, yeah. that wouldn't surprise me, or a prima mould, possibly, yes, something point, yeah. like that. Yeah, good so point. Something of that ilk, something, and then, of course, the crafty board bits with the tombstones and the skulls. Great. Lovely. Um, and of course, we're looking at the schools, but you are going to get those additional pieces, as you can see here. So you've got the tombstones behind there. And just to show you that if you do want to turn it into something that's three-dimensional, then of course you can use that base there and turn it into your own little coffin there as you want into. With all that I know, isn't fabric it in good? there. That's amazing. That's Rachel again, coming up <laughs> with an amazing design. So $9.99 is going to get you all of those. You're going to get three of your um, uprights, I think it is. And then of course you are going to get your skulls that will work alongside those. So uh, 122006 if you are wanting those. Conscious of the time, so very quickly going to show you the next couple of um, items and then we're going to hand over to Jo. So I won't keep you much longer, I promise. These are beautiful. Now we've got the crafty board, which again, it's one of those things, as soon as you say crafty board, you think that's crafty. Yeah. And this is something that is so, so affordable because of the nature of the board that they're bringing us, it means you can get a lot in there for a very small price. And the beauty is they don't add bulk, do they? They're lightweight. No, no this is what I just adore about these and I know I say it time time again and I will keep saying it because they're just terrific because there is no weight to them and yeah. you can throw so many different mediums onto them so much moisture um, do pop them out before you start coloring them I do find that that's um, that's a, a good way but look how they work with the stamps and Those, you can snip that's into them. super isn't it well this is it you can snip into them so you can add them to um, all your different elements you'll have noticed I'm sure with the tombstones and different things earlier on that we were looking at where all the spiders webs and yep. all the little spiders and the crows were appearing well this is how you can create with these just add that additional little element there which you can add your color to and then use I mean, these look amazing, don't they? Doesn't that look fabulous there? With your little um, bats there. Of course, the stamps making an appearance because they lend themselves so well to this one. And the beauty is when you're getting those home, they are in boards, but they pop out so, so easily. And that's yeah. the detail that you've got. I mean, you can see they've got a little piece there that's caught. All you need to do is literally just pop that and it will come away. Just get your little pokey tool in there and there you go. Absolutely perfect. But it's so lightweight that you could snip into those if you wanted to as well beautiful now I've got two options with these that one is your Halloween the next one we've got is for your Christmas and again all those elements you've got the little tiny tags in here you've got your stars you've got those gorgeous kind of holly leaves and berries in there absolutely beautiful and then when you start adding all your different mediums to them they really do start to make kind of adding detail don't they look at these beautiful as you can see there again you've got your snowflakes featuring there which is something synonymous with Christmas time and winter um, and again, just using them in loads and loads of different ways, as you can see here. Um, so you've got choices, two choices with regard to Halloween or whether you are going to go down your Christmas route with these. It's entirely up to you, but of course, nothing's stopping you going for both of them if that's what you're wanting to do. We've got some amazing stencils to share with you as well. Uh, it's a pick and mix. So if you're wanting your stencils, check these out. Now, that's crafty. Bring us a whole host of different um, stencils. We've got some brand new ones for you for the show today. So we've got things that are going to work well with, obviously, the little darklings we've got your skulls you've got your crows um, and of course you've got um, some Christmas theme one there as well that fabulous Christmas tree that we saw earlier on the snowflake and then you've got your stags but there's loads in there and all the bats there taking flight you can imagine using these with your texture paste now you're gonna choose oh my goodness if only got to choose two how are you gonna do that these are beautiful so add a couple of those into your basket if you do want to go back in again and add any others then you can do that at the same time and of course keep a note of that item number because I think that you'll be revisiting these time and time again because they're not just Christmas and Halloween stencils as you can see there. Now, Joe, okay, what are you okay. up to, my dear? Right, so this morning, like we said, we're going to do Halloween uh, for this show and we are going to do this little project here. So although we're only doing one little project, we are doing lots and lots of things on it. So I thought it'd be quite nice to go through the whole thing and um, show you different things that we've got on the show and what we can do with them. I just love that we can just sit and create so many fabulous things with what we have just on this show. Can Hayley? I just so, point out at the bottom yeah. of this as well? Yes. Um, um, Jimmy's panning down to the bottom of this. This is something, when you saw, I saw the borders, yes. you automatically think of laying them on top of something, not yeah. to stand them on the edges. But what a fabulous idea. Well, I th a couple of us have done this um, because it, it creates that 
like cemetery type. Well, book. it is. That's what you would see. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah you absolutely. Say, like, but of if you, yeah, but again, if you put them into a different scenario, you could use them for something completely oh, gosh, different, yeah. couldn't you? Beautiful. So, um, so yeah. So we're doing lots of different things. So what we'll do first of all is um, we will actually do the uh, stamping. So I'll just pop that there just for a second. Now, um, last night um, we I did do. Um, uh, a little, um, not an impromptu, sort of, sort of off the cuff uh, Facebook Live on the That's Crafty Creative site, showing you now all the tell samples. Tell me about the creatives. Yeah, I've heard about That's Crafty Creatives, and it, from what you were saying, right. there's a lot of inspiration. Oh there. my lord! Honestly, it is packed full of inspiration. The design team do blogs every day. Different members of the design team do something and, and show you what's on the blogs. Um, they um, they also do, um, Laura does lots of um, uh, competitions. She does uh, giveaways on so there. So all of the kind of finished samples that we've just mm. looked at, we'll be able yes. to go back and look yes, at those again. Yeah. Oh, so okay. what we're going to do is we're going to continue to do this for shows because um, I know it, obviously time is always of an essence, isn't it, on shows? Of course it is. We only have, well, we say now, but 58 minutes to be precise. <laughs> and um, it goes so quickly. So, and the design team do such an incredible amount of work. They, they, they need more of a stage, mm. I think, and, yes. and Laura agrees. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this um, uh, little this sort of a Facebook Live before shows, just showing you some of the gorgeous um, ideas and inspiration that the team have come up with. Now, also, of course, what we, what we do after Facebook Live is you can, you can actually put, put it onto the site. So, of course, it's there all the time. Mm -hmm. So um, please do have um, a little look. So it's, it's That's Crafty Creatives. Um, I'm sure lots and lots of you are already members well you're not don't have to be members but just go onto the page and that's you just go onto the page yeah, you, you just, can just like yeah. can't you a lot of the yeah. time it's yeah that's like right like so, and you get notifications yeah that's right so um but yeah there's some terrific terrific stuff going on there now um the uh young lady that i am using just so that you know is set number one um, I think this, I think she's just, well, they're all adorable. I just love them all. Um, but this one, especially, you've also, if you have a little look at the, um, at the stamp itself, which I'll show you in a second. Let me just make sure. I don't think I've picked my best verse, verse of fine up, but I'm, I think I'm going to get this okie dokie. So let me have a little look. Um, the stamps, obviously, we all know. We all trust the stamps from That's Crafty. They're always top, top. Quality. So, don't have to have any doubt at all about that. Just make sure I've got all the detail. Oh, and there the we packaging go. as well is brilliant because it gives you that little that. idea of where to add your colour yes, as well, it, doesn't it? Yes. Now, um, what um, Kelly has done for us um, is she's she's done all the shading as well in mm -hmm. the stamps themselves. And what she's done is on the obviously on the packaging, of course, bring that in. You can see. If you are the absolute beginner in, in colouring, obviously we can just literally copy what, what there is there, go with the shading areas, go with the ideas and everything. And then once you gain your confidence, of course, then go with the, um, uh, the you know, put your, your slant onto it, really. But do you know what? They do also look terrific in sepia as well. Oh, nice. Mm, sepia and also um, black and white. I, I did some of the steampunk um, darlings in, I did one in, in black and white when we did the, uh, the one day special and it looked terrific, honestly. Mm. And that's a sign of a really good design, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's one of those so, ones that when you use it a different way, it looks like you've used a different stamp. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Now, I, this is my own preference. I do like to stamp and then uh, put um, the clear embossing powder on. Um, I do like using my, uh, the wow powder. I use the uh, extra fine clear um, uh, because um, it brings out all the detail. What it's I like so to do as well is when you're colouring as well. Isn't yes, it? yeah. So what I what I tend to do is when I get a new set of stamps, I tend to stamp them all out. Okay. And do and actually um, do the embossing on, put the embossing powder on, and then it doesn't deter, um, determine what type of colouring that I'm going to have to do. So I could now use any 
any sort of colours, watercolours, alcohol markers, oh, pencil crayons. the image. That's right, yeah. So um, that also takes away the thinking about oh, what ink should I use, what ink shouldn't I Good use. Point, yeah, so yeah. Um, I think if you are... It also gives that gorgeous line to it as well, which I think is important. Well, still many of us get confused over which ink pad to use That's and which right. colouring medium, so this yeah. is a perfect way yeah. to, uh, to, to get um, around it. I just tend to do it myself because I, I, I like that it gives that beautiful clean image. Um, I do use either a Versafine or um, a Vers Vers uh, Versaclair. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yeah. I need a new Versaclair. That's why I've not got that one today. So, that's my image. You can see she's absolutely stunning. We could... There's so many things here that we could do, obviously. We could decoupage the owl, just the owl. We could decoupa decoupage the owl and the moon. We could even take away that if we didn't want it to be, and then put put even um, a flower in her hair if we didn't That's want the owl. Point, yeah, yeah you, you need to really look look at these stamps and think what you can do. I'm going to just bring in the actual cover here just to show you also what's on this set. So you get in obviously the scarecrows. They're a really good size and obviously they're bigger than what they, they look on the front. It's nice you've got a couple there so you can build up your perspective yes, with that yes. as well. Yes, I think that's a terrific mm -hmm. idea. And of course the pumpkins as well. Now also if we look at this image here, look at these dragons. Now, oh, you could yes. just stamp those. I didn't notice yeah, them Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? They really are just so adorable. Um, these are the sort of things you'd like as a pet. <laughs> um, Before they get too big. <laughs> they may do. Oh, there you go. You can now, on but the you image can that see those. Here, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a perfect example there of how you can use either one, two, or three of the dragons. So you can see that uh, one of the dragons has been stripped away from her shoulder there, yeah? Yeah, oh, so, clever. you know, you do look at your stamps stamp them out have a little look at them get the feeling for them before you do anything else now so let me just sorry, get some embossing powder on there right so what we're going to do now i've got my stamped images um cut out because you don't need to see me cutting those out um and now i'm going to do some of the uh messy part i'm going to do the i'm just going to get my um upright painted so this of course as we know this is the tombstone I'm using my uh, the black gesso of course we do have this on the show white black together two blacks two whites as usual um, it is one as you know that I use all the time because it covers first go I don't have time to be putting lots and lots of layers of gesso <laughs> on now, mm. just while you're doing that, Joe, can yes, I just um, answer a question? We've had an email yes. come in um, asking about the, the skulls. Christine, yes. um, looking out for a stamp to create those skulls that we've seen on many of the finished samples. It's not an actual stamp, it's the crafty board. And the crafty board, you've got two options with regard to your crafty board. You've got your Halloween, um, where you're not getting just the one sheet, because obviously that wouldn't be very good value for money. You're getting four crafty boards. There are a mix on there. We'll probably show you them more a little bit later on. But you've got all sorts in there. There's spiders, webs, two different options. So you've got your crafty Christmas and you've got your Halloween but there you go you can see you've got lots of different elements in there and those are the ones that have appeared on the finished sample so hopefully um, those are the ones that will help you get those results Christine that you were speaking of so you can see they're the little tiny spiders they are part of that crafty board as are the little skulls and all the additional elements as we open up don't forget things like the stencils will give you that kind of three-dimensional look with the bats taking flight there but if you do want to kind of just dot those little bats around or add in a few of the tombstones they are all part of that crafty board um, set with the Halloween um, title to them so there you go um, good question and um, yes that's the way you get hold of them Christine yes thank you Christine that's a great question and um, yeah the, and the thing is with the crafty board if you haven't had it before haven't experienced it it's so very light so even if you wanted to add it onto a, um, a card project terrific really 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 good um, to put on to. Um, it's difficult explaining how light they are, but yet they're light, but yet they're substantial. So, uh, which you'll see in a few minutes, because I'm going to, um, I'm going to be using them. So I'm just going to give this a quick, uh, quick dry, um, so that I can just lay it down. Again, no, I, feel, I feel like I'm public announcement here. <laughs> 
now because when I saw your attention to the website, just for a few moments, um, it's just been flagged up that there's a little bit of an error with regards to a couple of the photographs. We're getting these sorted out. So where you've got, go with your description. So you can see there, you've got your description there, showing your little darklings there in a very Christmassy environment. Then go by the description more so than the image. So there you go. I'm not sure when scarecrows came in at Christmas time, but I'm sure you'll have spotted that yourself. So the, the fact that it says Christmas, that is the set that you will receive with those. So go with the words. Don't think we're changing Christmas to bring scarecrows in. Um, but it is a case that they go by the words and equally so the Christmas images will be appearing on the Darklings. So if you want the Halloween, go by the actual title. But we are going to get that changed. It just takes a little while for us to get that organised. So uh, just to bring that to your attention. Yes, we're not trying to change the whole world <laughs> in one programme. <laughs> I'll take at least a couple. Why not though? The whole year's been a little bit up skittles. Well, hasn't it just? Yes. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to show you uh, the uh, stencil. Now this, I have to say, when Amanda's skull came through the post and I unwrapped it and um, as we always do and, and uh, check that everything's okay with them, it just, I thought that what she'd done with the, uh, with the bats on the acetate clever, was just yes. so clever. So I am, I am borrowing that, uh, Amanda, and uh, thank you for the inspiration. So I will do, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do though. I do want to show you how good the stencils are, obviously. Now, black paste, we do have this on the show. This is the black texture paste, uh, one of my all time favorites, as you well know. And yeah. um, goes on with a glossy um, <coughs> look to it, but it does dry matte. Now, obviously, this has been done on acetate, um, but I'm just showing you on a white piece of card because it's just easier for the camera. All right, now, a bit of a, a, bit of a, hit, a tip, though. If you are using acetate, you do need to give yourself twice the amount of time for it to dry there you go, look at that. Oh, wow. Look isn't it tremendous? That is. It's tremendous, isn't that it? The detail amazing. is immense. Look at this little tiny bat. You can still see mm. the head and the body on it. It's, it's amazing. Mm. It really is. And have so, a look at this. You can see that texture there, just as Joe's popping that temperature into yeah, I will, water. Just, because that's the thing, isn't it? You have that's to make sure right. you put it straight into water. So look, look at that. Look. Wow. So what will happen is when it dries, it will dry to a mat. But of course, what you could do if you wanted it to be more uh, of a, a shine, you could then go on with your 3D holographic gel medium. I didn't want it uh, on this occasion because it's the look that I wanted, but it does look terrific if you wanted to Would do that. Would you just leave that to dry naturally, Jo? Um, you can dry that with um, with a heat tool. Um, many times I have done it on shows, um, uh, and, and it will do it. Just be mindful not to centre the heat gun on one area. Uh, you don't want it bubbling. And again, with the acetate... If you are thinking that you want to be drying it and speeding it up, you need to be using heat-resistant acetate. Good, good point, okay. yeah. um, If not, um, I this is actually a heat-resistant acetate because, to be quite honest, I didn't know whether I would have um, uh, enough time for it to dry when I did it, but actually I did. Um, I, it's but it left, just I did leave this for a good four hours to dry on acetate. And uh, sometimes it's a good idea. I know I personally only buy heat. Um, heat cut, well, I, I heard there was the phrase now, not heat, heat proof. I don't it, heat resistant. Heat proof sounds like an oven. That's it, heat resistant yep. um, acetate. Yep. And then that way you don't have to worry when you pick them up. Can I just quickly, no. just while um, Joe's cutting that out, Please, show you yeah. how using that stencil just on the backdrop there, how that cleanness and the crispness comes through it. I mean, look at that. That looks absolutely Isn't it incredible. gorgeous on that orange? Now, the papers that you see on here, we have actually got them on the show. Now, they're not on the counter because we've just got so much to show you today, but they are the background papers from Amanda um, and um, they are on the show and they go so well. Lots of the girls have used 